Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with oxygen not included. Where we are trying to dig uh, relatively far up and down, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have Atmo suits yet, so it's a bit more difficult than it otherwise could be. Um, don't have anyone idle or anything. Oh, we got some skills. We got a skill, sheep say meh. Got uh, eight morale to spare right now. Could be our second astronomer. Seems good. I don't think we're in urgent need of a doctor or while carrying capacity just yet. Go grab that astronomer hat. Fantastic. Starvation. Oh, I forgot. Even though we've got tens of thousands of calories, uh, people are not eating some of the time. Oh, we did get rebalancing of uh, the hatches. Seems a good. Elderly glum. Why are you glum? Uh, hungry. That's probably why. It's also going to die in seven cycles. Elderly glum. Okay, this one's not hungry. Why is it glum? Is it glum because it's elderly? Understandable. Uh, I could just save time and convert those to meat. And we dig towards the oil biome. Fantastic. I wonder if we could get Atmos suits soon. Oh, I need some refined iron for that, though, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got decorating, tidying, researching. Eats more food. I don't think we want that. Let's give someone the snazzy suit instead. Uh, Bivim can have the snazzy suit. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, everything's ticking along pretty smoothly right now. Looks like we're about to finish some research. Uh, what are we researching? currently researching jetpacks. So in other words, we don't know what we want to research right now. So I'm thinking we already have the technology for Atmo suits. Uh, let's see, Atmo suit dock, here it is. We need an exosuit forge, which is kind of heavy on the power, since we don't have any actual generators yet. Although, it doesn't take very long to run this thing. And it's not like it draws power when it's not being used. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think this time let's try getting an early Atmos. Oh, we need refined iron for that. Refined metal. 400 kilograms. Hmm. It's only like 100, I think, for the actual suit. I kind of do want to have them just dig a little bit further down, get some lead. We'll maybe use a crusher to get our first bit of uh, refined iron. And 
and then we can get a get a spacesuit or atmo suit rather and have people come down here casually for the foreseeable future or indefinitely I should say insufficient oxygen generation doesn't look like it's a problem Thonian, good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well Is Boovim damaged, or is the... No? Is nothing... Was Boovim damaged and he just regenerated? That was a little concerning. Did I say concerning? I meant concerning. Uh, how do we get over to this... This door. Let's get... Preferably without exposing ourselves to more chlorine and hydrogen than we have to. Uh, I'm thinking we can't really... Pardon me. New play, indeed. Uh, this time, hopefully, with 90% less complete spaghetti mess. Sloda is ready to become our first Master Chef. We'll go with that. And I don't think we have to change Sloda's priorities there. Cooking is already very high. I really need to get some power generation other than manual generators at this point. Oh, they are still digging down here a little faster than I thought. All right, let's get that lead. Uh, fossil doesn't hurt either. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that should do it. We're still trying to get rid of this slime biome. Oh, I totally forgot about the natural gas geyser that is uh, kind of blocking us from do, uh, doing that. Can I, oh, we can build there. I could let polluted water cover this up until we're ready to exploit it. We're going to get a bunch of natural gas escaping into here anyway. I'd rather not have that happen, though. Hmm... I can't really see a way to go about it. Do 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 do. Um, we're kind of bottlenecked on labor at the moment. I mean, that's a pretty normal state of affairs. Maybe I should priority bump this bit. Let's make it like priority six. Oh, and we haven't rummaged over here yet. Let's see what we get. I haven't opened this door either. Oh, right. This is the one where we need some circuit wire to get through it. Which just means a bit of lead, actually. Signal switch also needs refined metal. How many dupes have we got? Eight. Uh, where are we going to get... I guess we've 
We've got a cool steam vent, which is not so cool. The water's at 60-something degrees over here. Saltwater geyser is also spitting it out at 95 degrees. I guess that's less heat than so-called cool steam. Um, but we do have to run a desalinator, which produces more heat, but I'm sure it doesn't add up to uh, more heat overall. We do have to pay the power for it, though. Hmm. Uh, where is... It's under refinement, surely. Wait, have we not researched the desalinator? Um, desalinator. Here it is. We have not. Alright, let's get on that. And we diggy diggy hole. Um, I don't love the idea of dropping polluted water into where the crude oil is. But... It's not looking terribly easy to remove it right now. Well, uh, then again. If, if we just dig it out to here, we should be able to mop it up. I imagine. How's our calorie count looking? Calorie generation seems to be trending upward. Calorie consumption also trending upward. I wish we could see net calorie production. Down your go. Mop that up. Oh, we've got more snazzy suits. Let's give one to Kevin and Evil Pla. Warm sweater, cool vest, I think we'll just hold on to for now. Um, I was going to say I'm realizing that if we drop fluid down here from above, it's going to get into the oil biome, but that's what these uh, tiles right here are for. Same thing's going to apply with the fire pole, though. Again, with the fake starvation. Alright, can we mop this up? We actually can't. How much is here? 306. I'm not sure how thin it has to be before we can mop it up. Oh? It just turned into regular water? Or was there already regular water there? We couldn't see it. That's weird. Oh, and there's our first lead. That's actually a thousand kilograms almost. Nice suit. Uh, blueprint. Uh, I'm not taking anyone with only two interests. Let's just take the sandstone. And now we should be able to make... Uh, where is it? An exosuit forge? Fantastic. Let's get... Lead stored in here as well. Refined metal lead. 
actually copy those settings across all of the containers. Are these guys glum? Cramped. Elderly cramped. I think we know the solution for that. Oh, and we have some stone hatches. Fantastic. Alright, uh, in that case. So two stone hatchling eggs. I don't think we need any regular hatchling eggs at this point. And are you still cramped? You are not. Good, good, good. Alright, how about our diggy diggy hole? Can we mop this up? It looks like we can. Looted water, 38 grams. That's obviously low enough. 70 grams, 105. 105.9 grams is too much. Oh, it's unreachable. Okie dokie. Let's get that exosuit forge built. And we'll need a crusher. I hope we can find an iron volcano this time. We already found a regular volcano and a copper volcano, I think it was. But I can't quite recall where they are. Here we go. Priority... Uh, priority maximum. This is a copper volcano. And this one over here... is a regular volcano. So when we figure out how to... Well, we've already done copper before, so that's infinite copper, eventually. Uh, once we figure out how to tame a regular volcano, that'll be infinite... Is it granite? Some kind of uh, rock like that that we need for insulation and stuff. There's our desalinator researched. Fantastic. Um, let's just keep clicking things. Until it's all done. Uh, we can now dig down here. Fantastic. Give some more of that. Fossil and lead and so on. Oh, and we got a slickster. Cool. Russia. We want iron ore to iron. Uh, let's just double check. Atmosuit copper, atmosuit iron, atmosuit aluminium. Uh, let's do copper since we know we're going to have an infinite source for that. Copper, 300 kilograms. Okay. Copper ore. We need six recipes to get one atmosuit. And we should probably make two at the very least, so that if something happens to one dupe down here, another can rescue it. Oh, speaking of things happening, uh, could you stop getting yourself scalded to death, actually, Sea Moogle? Good job. This is why... Oh my goodness, why... Why are the liquids like this? 
what the? Uh, that was different. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of process purifying polluted water down here. Oh my goodness, indeed. What the hell was that? Maybe it's not such a bad thing if polluted water finds its way down there. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Everybody happy in here? Fantastic. Um, so do we have copper ore? We've got 11 tons. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get on with making a couple of Atmo suits. And we need two reed fibers, which I'm pretty sure we've got access to already. There's four down here. See, Moogle, please don't die. Um, what is... Moderate wounds, major eye irritation, holding breath? Uh, what the... Is this because you ran out of oxygen in the oxygen mask? All the more reason to hurry up and switch to Atmo suits. You're not going to starve to death slow- Oh my god. No, this is... This is so dumb. Um... How do I... How do I keep seeing Moogle from dying of starvation as he slowly crawls his way back upstairs? What is this? Some kind of fart? Fart world? No, it's just we've been digging away the slime. Chum Blaster. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can I somehow drop food down here for him? Is fungal spore edible directly? I don't think it is. Uh, the seed of a dusk cap. Let's see... Mushroom, rations, 2200 calories. Cool. Um, it says Doc Exosuit, where he's trying to put away an oxygen mask. Try eating it? Yeah, I can't directly tell him to eat it, though. So, like... At this rate, he's not even going to get, like, up to the oxygen mask dock. What am I supposed to do? If I... Hmm, where's our food storage? Oh yeah, we moved it. Well, I think we don't actually really have a food storage specifically. Let's see, resources, uh, food, edible, here we go. Uh, we've got lots of muckroot. What if I take a storage bin? What's that, sandstone? We make it in, out of sandstone. Yes, fantastic. Someone build that really, really fast. And then... Muckroot. Uh, is it organic? No. Miscellaneous, I don't think... We can't actually put food in here. Uh... I remember having... here we go, ration box. Made out of sandstone. Hurry up, please. We're down to 376 calories. And then edible muckroot emergency. 340 calories. 
someone bringing it? Harvey UK. Lots of people are bringing it. Okay. Move to here. Get rid of the emergency priority. See Moogle. Move to here, please. And hurry up and eat something. Please don't tell me he's going to try and take it all the way up to the, uh, the mess table. What is he doing? Personal needs eat. Food is right next to him. He's about to die of starvation, and he's going to crawl his way. He's going to keep stopping as well. This is ridiculous. 210 calories. And he's still going super slow. He's literally going to die instead of picking up this food. Hundred and forty calories. Hundred and thirty calories. He's going to the bathroom first. Are you joking? Sea Moogle? Seventy calories. Oh my god. That was needlessly close. This playthrough is rough, apparently. Am I named here yet? Uh, I think... Not yet. But I'm not taking in new dupes for a little while. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That was close, right? He went... He was literally seconds away from starving to death, and he went to the bathroom first instead. While he was barely able to move. And after we emergency dropped rations right next to him as well. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything in chat? I don't think so. Evil Plug, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... What does this say? Missing copper. Because we're still... making the copper. How hot is it? Overheat temperature 75. That's not going to happen. Uh, but how hot is the actual machine? 25 degrees. That's actually going to take forever to heat up. I think. Although the base is slowly heating up. Okay. What do we just unlock? Auto sweeper? Nice, nice. Let the research continue. Did that just say plus clay? I think it must have. Outputs clay. It does. What is clay good for in this game? Clay is needed to make ceramic. And that's about it. Should get more of these uh, deodorizers down here. Alright, how much copper do we have? Oh, it looks like we have the material now. Copper... Refined copper... Zero kilograms? Wait, did we already make one Atmo? We didn't. But we've done... More than half of these recipes. So where's the copper? 
Oh, I think it's talking about how much is available after the recipes we've queued up. Also, it's about time we swept over here. Apparently we need some more storage space. Uh, what do we got? Dirt, granite, igneous rock, sandstone. Uh, why is that not listed? Dirt, clay... Uh, not miscellaneous. Raw mineral. It's fine. And that just leaves what? Sand? Filtration medium. And seeds as well. Uh, where is it? Organic? I don't think so. Seed. There it is. Seeds can be stored in here. Okay. What are we printing? We got suit wearing, ranching, operating. Uh, the negative traits are fine. Farming, decorating, ranching. Uh, I don't think this is going to cut it. Uh, so why don't we just skip this one? The puffed will suck up oxygen. We don't want that at this stage. Okay. How much copper do we have? Or more importantly, how many Atmo suits do we have? 300 kilogram out of zero. Or that's what it costs versus what we have, allegedly. But the copper is right here. That's 100 kilo. I queued up 12 of these recipes. It should give us uh, uh, 600 copper. And I've queued up two Atmo suits, but it just keeps saying we have zero copper. It's very odd. Oh, here we go. Except we ran out of electricity. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like we're going to have our first Atmo suit soon. Um, I think I would like to... Well, I'll wait till the first Atmo suit is done. And then we'll get rid of the oxygen masks. May as well put the wire here already. Oh, it's already half done. No, and we're out of power. I hope it saves the progress. I mean, I should think so. See, Moogle is still horribly damaged. Uh, maybe we should make this a doctor's room for the moment. Triage cot. How, what's the benefit of the medical room? Let's see. Hospital. Uh, less likely to spread disease. Well, we're not too worried about disease right now. I think we'll just have some triage cots and not worry about it for now. And I want them to be pretty aggressive in healing themselves. Okay, there's our first Atmo suit. Oh, two of them already? Fantastic. Let's get rid of the oxygen mask docks. Is anyone down here? I don't think so. 
Oh yeah, you can see all of the, all of the masks are still in place. God damn it. Now I have to leave at least two of these up until he gets back. I guess I could put a door here just to control... Why is this bumped up above all the others? Is it because there's new stuff? No, this one has new stuff. Does anyone know why base is elevated 50% above all of the other categories? I fell asleep. Did I stay alive last night? You did indeed. Alright, decon these two. Hurry up, please. Ben Wu, thank you very much for the three hey, hacks. Hey, Ben Wu, thank you very much for the three months. Much appreciated. We have to cancel this deconstruct again because the dupes went through. XCOM was fun. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. Looking forward to doing that some more. It was also ridiculously successful for the most part. So far. Our luck is bound to run out eventually. Uh, we got some skills. Let's see. Boovim. Well, this is a freebie, so let's just take it. Um, what's this dupe doing? Sloder is picking up Paku Fillet. Fair enough. And eating it on the spot. Did you, did you really need to do that, Sloder? Hurry up, I need to remove these. Maximum priority, and then stations at Musuit Dock. Oh, we need more. Oh, no. Uh, we've got access to lead, don't we? Yeah, we do. Unreachable. I beg to differ. There's lead down here. Someone's going to get a little scalded. Um, but that's probably going to be okay. What is this? Iron ore. Metal ore. Please put that in storage. Um, can I get them to store the lead though? That would be nice. As a priority. Refined metal. New base I see, indeed. Rubber band Ma Rambo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Never been into XCOM, but watching T Hex play it was quite fun. Wow. The compliments. Um, alright, so if I've set that to priority 9. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. To store refined metals. Do I have to tell them to sweep this, or is someone going to pick it up without my input? Oh, it's an unreachable mop, but the metal is probably reachable. Okay, because I want to get the lead on the opposite side of where we're going to be building... Um, uh, ...the Atmosuit checkpoint. Otherwise they won't be able to do it. Alright, now we deconstruct these. And you fell asleep on the spot. 
Okay. Let's hope you're not going to go downstairs with no suit just once. Stations, Atmo suit checkpoint, this away, and dock, uh, this away. And that should already be functional once it's built. being the operative word. Deliver suit, deliver suit. And someone already went down here, didn't they? Evil Pla. Any mods this time? Uh, yeah, same as before, just uh, the modded doors and some really basic quality of life stuff. Super duper hard digging, fantastic. Uh, I should really check how much morale they have first. Uh, I don't see any harm in giving Harvey art as well. And could we... Storage unavailable, it's going stale. Uh, could we get a ration box up here, I guess? Instead of this one. Also, delivering to these should be a high priority. It's a job that's only going to have to happen once. Fantastic. And now we pump loads of oxygen into the Atmo suits. Feels weird having Atmo suits before we have uh, running toilets, but that's how it is sometimes. We got more skills. Sea Moogle. Uh, probably improved construction. There's our copper volcano dugout. Still with the fake starvation. Alright, everything edible. And you know what? Well, I was going to say you could store cooking ingredients here as well. But I think not. And O2 is still getting pumped in here. Uh, the O2 is actually getting a bit thinner, so let's add a few more oxygen diffusers. One right next to the gas pump is maybe not the worst idea. You know what, I'm sick of this raw egg lying around. You can put cooking ingredients in here as well. Fantastic. Alright, we need some kind of source of power other than duplicant legs. Um, but so far all we've got is hydrogen, which doesn't really work. Um, I would like to set up electrolysis, but then we're going to be even more of a heat engine. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, how long until we get to steam engines? We've got lead. That's what we can make it out of. We need plastic as well. Tidying, supplying, researching. It's not bad. 
Uh, Nicola? I'd have to make a bed for you, but... We could probably do that. Are you going to be experimenting with the mechanic abusing builds this run? Uh, maybe some of them. Basically a hauler and a researcher. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. Tidying, supplying, researching. Uh, supplying. Here we go. Supplying, researching gets us most of the way to exosuit training and rocket stuff as well. Just have to make another bed. And get ahead of oxygen and calories a bit more. Alright, Nicola, get in here. And Sigma Bean shall be Nicola. Or Nicola shall be Sigma Bean. Fantastic. Uh, let's get another bed over here. And I guess we can safely have people dig down here now. And I'll have to give up caring about the liquid since look at this. Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing now. Starting early now? I haven't actually changed it. Um, it's just daylight savings for other people or something. Good morning to you as well. Okay, um... I'm going to lower the priority of these digs because it's really not urgent. And it takes a lot of labor to supply the oxygen down here. We're on winter time, but you don't change that. Yeah, no. Not in Australia land. Oh, there's too much on this wire? Potential load double... That's only in theory, though. The actual load doesn't tend to get over 1k. However, I think I probably should separate these. Let's get another battery up here. And snippy snip. And now we see potential load 775. Versus 1270, but that's only if both of these were running at the same time. Which pretty much isn't going to happen. Also, we could deliberately make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, sea Moogle is not looking good on the morale right now. Everyone else, probably fine. Uh, Sigma Bean just got here... Probably start with supplying. And the other skill was cabin. Critter ranching too? Hell yes. Now we can ranch all kinds of critters. Oh yeah, how are, the, how are the germs? Pretty good, actually. We've got the floral scent blocking the uh, slime lung coming in. And I think there's chlorine around here or something. No? So for some reason... Oh, it's actually just a little bit of floral scent, I think. There's something blocking the slime lung over here. All 
regardless, Sloda has a skill to pick up. Um, I'll just take one of these two. Probably doesn't hurt to have another plumber handy. Oh, that was supposed to be a battery. That oxygen diffuser. Let's deconstruct that. I copied it from down here. Can we sweep all of this? So, what have we got in terms of refined metal? We've got access to 1.2 tons of lead. Fantastic. What are we researching? Just about done on solid management. That's definitely not what we need right now. Uh, let's get steam turbines unlocked. And think about where we're going to get our glossy trecos set up. Since we've already got hydrogen over here... I think I'd kind of like to have the glossy Draco room start on the opposite side of uh, the hatch room, which we could probably keep here. Uh, max size 96 tiles. That's... It's actually smaller than it needs to be. We can go all the way to here. Oops. Uh, and I was thinking... Nice and close to the infinite water source, we could have Glossy Draco Room. Maybe it would be a good idea to have two hatch rooms. Uh, com commas, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Probably going to need a little ladder to get this part done. No effect. And I do have a blueprint uh, right arrow, left arrow to cycle blueprints. Uh, we do have a glossy Draco room that I made over here that doubles as an electrolyzer room. Are there any improvements to it I could make, perhaps? Don't really think so. Could I flip it? I don't think I can flip it. Rename, delete. Where else would I put it? Over here, perhaps? That might actually be pretty good. We could still have a standard sized room. Oh wait, this is 96, isn't it? And we've broken the room. Could we please replace those floors? Yeah. 
We are uh yes. Okay. Um Is this a room again? It is not. Need to bump up the priority on this one as well. And they stopped building. What about this one? Room size 93 times. Oh, it doesn't have the grooming station yet. Outside of stable, indeed. Should I go with vertical still for the hydrogen room? I think so. Because we want to be able to comfortably auto sort the gases with gravity. Yeah, I'm thinking about here should actually make a lot of sense. Although insulated tiles might be a good idea. Then again, aren't we going to need room for a hydrogen generator close to this? Hmm. Ultimately, I'd like the hydrogen generator to be connected to the main bus. And I'd like to be able to expand this out horizontally as well. So maybe I should put this whole mess up here. Yeah, I think that probably makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, but we need these to be farming tiles. Oh, do we, actually? No, we could put, um, what are they called? We could put planter boxes instead. So, right about here. Except I think I want to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mirror it. So we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tiles up from here. With some airflow tiles at first. that right? Then again, uh, the dupes are going to have to access it for grooming and stuff and shearing, but it takes up quite a bit of vertical space near the main base. It's probably fine. We'll have some more tube access eventually. Bedside manor, why not? Stable, stable, fantastic. Copy settings for this. And what are we printing? Not a dupe. We'll take the sand because why not? Okay. 
How many tiles across was this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basically. We need seven planters for mealwood. And a ladder up the front. Automatic doors. ladder up to the top three tiles, and then one tile over here for critter drop-off. Uh, and I actually want three tiles above the door to be airflow. Going to pick up new laptop, replacement for Procomon. Finally, Factorio after six weeks. Ouch. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I think I did this part wrong. Uh, but yeah, congratulations on returning to the land of the living. I think that's right. Pretty much. And electrolyzer, grooming station, and uh, what you call it? I could put the grooming station up the top as well. Let's try changing it up a little bit. Oh wait, the ladders have to be. Wait, wait there's an exact count. We want the maximum number of tiles for a stable. Um, so we can't mess with that too much. I mean, there could be ladders in the middle instead. Well, this is fine. Slept 10 hours without Factorio for at least 6 weeks, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get some mealwood seeds in here. And what the three tiles high before we have airflow tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems good. So we have a grooming station right about here. We have a shearing station. I think this time I'll actually put it closer to the middle. Uh, is it under stations? Shearing station. There we go. And electrolysis machine. Electrolyzer goes here. I like how we've already got the hydrogen up the top. Uh, and how Boovim has got himself stuck. Very cool, Boovim. There you go. He's gonna get himself stuck again, isn't he? Uh... Priority... yes. 
Are you not going to at least help dig that out? There you go. Taking a sweet time building this. I guess I could lay out the automation already. Uh, so I think it's both a buffer and a filter gate. We need a gas pump up the top. We need a gas element sensor below it somewhere. And it was buffer and filter because I wanted it to say something like, wait 20 seconds, wait until you detect hydrogen for 20 seconds, and then don't bother turning on unless you're going to stay on for like 20 seconds. But we could probably just do the buffer gate, I guess. Let's see, buffer gate... I want to see what it's like anyway. Then again, I should probably put the gas element sensor a bit further down. Someone's stuck again? Oh, god damn it. Uh, should have known. At least Sea Moogle is offering a hand. There we go. And he was actually dying as well. Those should actually stay as... What the... What? Insulated tile... What is this? It looks like there's already an insulated tile there. But... I'm very confused. Let's just get them to... There's not actually a job here. I can't cancel it either. What the hell is this? Deconstruct. It kind of looks like they're trying to build airflow tiles here, but there's like, there's no job there. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hopefully that'll clear it up. Alright, we have steam turbine. Once we have plastic, that is, which is what we're working towards now. Oops, that's not the priority I was aiming for. Should probably pump this chlorine away somewhere. Oh, and there's hydrogen everywhere as well. Lovely. Are you gonna make the white stuff disappear this time? Or are you just gonna give up before you finish the build? Um, we probably just need the one hydrogen generator, 100 grams per second. Oh yeah, I think I vaguely remember the ratio now. Why do we deconstruct the electrolyzer? Beep, 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 doop.
I wasn't going to make this the pool, but maybe I should. Mm, it's still not in the ideal position. Isn't it just the um, filtration machine is the only one we need in there? Furniture, stations, refinement. Do we not have the filtration machine? Filtration. Uh, the water CF. We do not have that researched yet. Okay. What's the problem? Body temperature. Do we have some wheezewort? We do. What do they need? Phosphorite. Body temperature, negative 60 to 90 degrees. That's 95 degrees. That is quite good. Uh, let's uproot some of those. And I'll bring them over for a temporary solution to the temperature over here. Temperature really is already becoming a problem. Let's grab some more wheezewort. More skills, evil plur. Demolition. Fantastic. Now we can build everything. Uh, blueprint. Let's see. Farming, cooking, decorating. Not too excited about that. Requires light to sleep. Don't love that one. Diver's lungs is actually amazing though. Increased medicine. Well, you don't have the interest in medicine. Building, ranching, supplying. I do like supplying with building. We'll take Josh on and... Uh, I'll have to move the research station over a bit. So that we can put another bed next to the printing pot. Name a dupe? Okay, it's gonna be Joshua. Uh, Denzel. Fantastic. Oh, and we need to assign skill priorities for these two. Sigma Bean, Tidying, Supplying, Storing, Fant- whoops. Fantastic. Drop everything else a bit, but not researching. Uh, damsel. Let's see. Doctoring. Tidying. Storing. Supplying. Building, I guess. Seems good. Oh, ranching. Uh, we can bump up ranching. We need a research job. What are we researching? I 
I can never think of what I want to research at first, and then I'm surprised that X, Y, or Z hasn't been researched. But it looks like we're getting... We're creeping towards the end of the... Having all the useful stuff unlocked. Or getting ahead of it. Damsel the Rancher, I'm a real boy, indeed. Could we get a Weezwot over here? And a couple up here as well. Oh, right. What's Damsel's athletics? Damsel... Uh, athletics negative six. <laughs> While wearing the suit, that is. Hmm. That is, uh... Maybe we should have them do some operating first. Let's just put everyone on max priority for operating um, until until their athletics is above some level. Skipped leg day, indeed. I hope using the suit buffs their athletics as well, but somehow I doubt it. Another logic puzzle over here. Water CF is unlocked. Fantastic. Uh, we can now put down a signal switch and automation wire to open this thing. And... We should probably start on the pool. I was looking for the water sea to figure out how big it would be. Height 3. Hmm. Uh, could we maybe move this mealwood over this way? Get that out of the way once it blossoms once more, or maybe not even then. Still haven't placed that wheeze wart. I thought we already had access to it. We do. Copy settings and go. Fantastic. Alright, we need to start designing our water area. So I think this is going to be a good spot, since the water isn't actually here yet. Um, it'll be easier to design it out. Uh, I want something similar but better than what we had last time. The water CF requires duplicate operation, yes or no? Produces polluted dirt, filtration medium. So they do have to deliver to it. Uh, so I think I'd like to put that right up against the entrance. Maybe even... Maybe even have it so that they don't have to go inside where the chlorine is. Produces clean water from polluted water using sand. I could put it just outside. Oh, it's kind of big. Or we could have like a slightly non-standard little area in here.
Let's remove this for the moment. Cancel all. There we go. Um, Mirth Leaf doesn't give off the... It's Buddy Bud that gives off the floral scent, right? Yep. Okay, so what if we had... Um, the Water Sea have nice and accessible. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot how I wanted the main bus to have, like... Uh... One, two, three, four, five. Room for five pipes going down that way. So, yeah, I th think we will do it in here. But the water sea have here. Um, regular... Actually, let's make it insulated because sometimes the water's going to be hot, or relatively hot. And say, what is it, 96 tiles over this way, with the four height. So it's going to stop here. And I'm thinking, like, three floors. So something like... One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four... So we'd have insulated tile going down here, and up here. Does it slow them down or anything? No, it's just negative decor. I could only fit two of these, but that's okay. I think. I think I'd like to have the filter pump as close as possible to the door. Oh wait, we're gonna need uh, airlock doors for this. So I'm thinking a single Atmo suit, airlock door, and then that's it. Like so. Should only need one person inside at a time. Uh, and we could have... Pitcher pump is the first thing we find inside. And how far down does that reach? It's, it's hard to tell because it doesn't render it all the way. Unless it's all empty space. Uh, it is... One, two, three, four tiles. Not including this one. Whoops. Two, three, four. So five inclusive. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. It wouldn't quite reach the bottom. But maybe that's okay. Oh, we could actually put these underneath each other. That would be probably looking pretty neat. I also don't actually want to build those until we're ready. Same goes for the airlock door. Uh, 
uh, why don't we build out some ladders? I'm going to have to remove them afterwards, though. Someone's going to get themselves stuck down here. Guaranteed. How's this build coming along? They still haven't built the airflow tiles. Oh no, it's still got this mess here. Uh, please tell me I can fix that with, like, save and reload or something. That's going to drive me insane if it's actually stuck there forever. Okay, it was just a graphical thing. Thank goodness. Who's suffocating? Oh my god. Dig this out. Oh my god, please hurry. Why was I not informed of this sooner? You guys are experts at killing yourselves. I think I already said we're fine without regular hatches. Oh, this poor little guy's stuck. We're not having that. Okay. On second thought, I really hate the idea of only one dupe being able to come in here at once. Let's make it two, and we'll just stick the, uh, uh, the airlock further in. I think we can go ahead and dig that out as well now. Carrying is free. Oh, wait. Sigma Bean. Uh, Sigma Bean's only got three morale to spare, so let's just give him this uh, low level stuff, which is effectively free. We should probably be researching. So oh, we are researching something. Fantastic. Gonna take them a little while. Did we get any Weezwort up here yet? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Need a bit more up here though. Uh, looks like some snow fell, so we didn't actually get that dug out. Looking 
good. How's this project looking? Why is it never getting finished? Let's bump up the prior a little bit on those. Utilities, oil well. Uh, what else have we unlocked here? The polymer press, which we won't be needing. What are you heading towards? Looted dirt. Errands. Wait, why can't I see... Oh, you're storing polluted dirt. Okay. Right then. So if we're going to have double Atmo suit over here, uh, that means at airlock door is going to go over here. And... I think we'll have a ladder down this way. So they have the most direct path if they have to get down this way for some reason. Uh, we'll probably put all the storage over here. Ish. Or stuff that we want to keep underwater, like slime. How's our oxygen? It says insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, the whole base is filling up with chlorine. That is suboptimal. I could potentially pump anything non-oxygen that we find here into space already. We've got space exposure tile right here. We could do it. Must be my lucky day. How's that? Zaxon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Decorating, supplying, suit wearing. Not too excited about that. Shovel. Uh, we could eat the eggs. Because you're on Oni. Nice. Thank you, I think. Copy settings across there. We're just getting ready to build out our water reservoir. Cool, so we've got Weezwort uh, chipping away at the heat over here now. Body temperature is actually fine for the mealwood. It's the atmosphere that's a problem. Cool, cool, cool. Is this the DLC? It is not. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't think they can actually reach this. They should be able to. Maybe... Maybe I'm wrong, though. Hold on, this is... Oh, I see. One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. That doesn't really work out. Four set... Three sets of four. That's more what I was looking for. Yeah, so normally... This isn't going to line up with the usual layout. That's okay, I guess. I could actually make that an airflow tile. So it can let the gas out. If uh, liquid gets up here. Oh, and we've actually finished building this stuff. Alright, Critter Draco. Uh, and we'll want to change that to Glossy Dracos only when we get the chance. I think this room can take eight of them. Uh, it is a stable of size 96, which is the maximum. And we're going to have... Uh, let's see. Buffer filter... Sorry, buffer gate and filter gate. Does the order matter? Probably. Filter and then buffer. And... A gas element sensor down here. So if we detect... Uh, Hydrogen down here for half a minute. We'll pump it for half a minute or something along those lines. No research focus selected. How about... Uh, not really excited about anything right this second. Oh, let's get the spice grinder. We'll just go top to bottom. TWD bot. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Back from resting. Nice. All right. Uh, that's the basics of our... I should probably rescue this pip before we start pumping water in here. Um, but that is the basics of our water reservoir. Let's get some mesh tiles over here. And a water sieve. And some mesh tiles down here. And liquid reservoirs. I don't know, do we really need that much storage? On second thought, if I do use liquid reservoirs, uh, I could actually have it set up so that we can take from them. Uh, the liquid reservoirs themselves can be the primary storage. And the space taken up by water can be the secondary storage. That way, if we're having power problems, we've already got water in the system. You need infinite storage? Um, that sounds nice. 
Mini gas pump? Wait, what? Oh, we've done the research. We don't have the plastic. That's fine. Um... What does he have? Is going to output water to about here. Or here even. If I, if I do it down here, then this really doesn't need to be a mesh tile. Makes the whole thing slightly cheaper. And then... I'll probably put the pump directly below where that drops down. Oh, wait. Is there a way that I could prioritize... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could prioritize it going into the liquid reservoirs and have a secondary output to dump water over here. Also, while we're at it, uh, let's go with hips in here. Can I actually fit... Um, Can I fit those big trees with three tiles above them, or does it have to be four? Let's find out. But I'm thinking we use a bridge. We'll have liquid reservoirs. Like so. We can't rotate these, right? So that goes there. That goes there. And so on. Except if we're starting here... I eventually want to expand out this way. I also want to leave some room to cycle pipes through here for coolant. Which shouldn't be too difficult with this layout. Uh, but where am I going to put this bridge? Probably... Liquid bridge like this. Liquid pipe like this. And secondary output liquid vent here. Perfect. So the liquid vent is a low priority output. And we put stuff straight into the liquid reservoir as a priority. And then I want... Pitch a pump, like so, and I can't actually put the second one here. How about... oh, that's perfect. Second pitcher pump can go here. So they're both quite close to the door. Uh, there isn't a water level where this wouldn't work, is there? If there's water up to here, can we still use this pitcher pump? I imagine we can. Yes? Okay, cool. And then... I think I'd like to do it in like a S shape. Which means starting... Starting with the one on the left. Uh... We're going to have to go with that same zigzaggy layout that I used before. If they're going to go left to right. They really want to go right to left. Uh, 
And if I do that, I'm not... This first one is going to be in the way of the coolant loop. Unless I just have it bridge one way. Which is probably enough, to be honest, but... I could just leave this one out, I guess. Uh, if that pipe goes straight here, and then... This one like this, this one like this, and so on. And it continues over this way until... Can I not click on that one? Two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be an extra tile on the end. And then this could just go straight down here. And that part's nice and straightforward. And then this comes out to be the water main bus. Uh, we will have pumps, or a pump at least. I'll have the output from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, perfect. I'll have the output from the last one of this uh, get in the way, like have priority over the liquid pump as well. So it's high priority to put into the reservoirs, high priority to take from the reservoirs. So we're minimizing how often we actually use the pump. And that's just going to flow out to the middle over here. That seems good. So we're not going to need a million reservoirs to start with, but I kind of want to mark out where they're going to fit. And build a few of them. And that'll leave plenty of room uh, for liquid pipe coolant to sneak in and out of this. That should be quite good. Construction errand. Not allowed by schedule. Okay. To get the wet debuff? Even in an Atmo suit? Not in an Atmo suit. Okay, cool. So this is going to be water. And probably a couple of tiles to the right will do polluted water. And probably make this our bathroom. Uh, what are the stats on bathroom? As in the room. Washroom. Flush toilet. Pump wash station. No outhouses. Up to 64 tiles. So this size right here. And 
I believe the input is on the lower level. Can't actually see yet. That's a wash basin. Yes. Okay. Where are the toilets? Plumbing? Lavatory. There we go. So, water in. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Water in. Polluted water out. Uh, I want up to five different fluids going up and down like this. But I think in the case of this going back to where it belongs, we'll have liquid bridges. Well, on second thought, As a rule, I really do want these so-called main bus fluids to be able to go up and down both ways here. So I think we might just have to bridge across multiple things here, like so. I mean, I could make this one polluted water as well. Convenient enough. But it's still going to have to find its way over here. could have the pipes even further apart, but I really would rather end up having more pipes being able to go up and down, rather than having too few. So yeah, I think we'll do it this way. Seems a good. Uh, that's going to mean that's going to be in the way of the water, though. Um, the water's also going to have to bridge across multiple things like this. How many liquids are we actually going to want to pump up and down like this? Um, possibly petroleum. Possibly oil. That's four already. Yeah, we are going to do it this way. So I guess... Can I, can I not get a bridge? Do it like this. That's pretty nice and consistent, actually. And something kind of similar over here. Wish I could. There we go. Um, that actually just has to jump over the one tile. So that's fine. Cool. That should end up looking relatively nice and clean. Could we already design a conductive joint plate? We could. Oh yeah, we could already start spamming heavy watt conductive wire. 
That's actually fantastic. I think we'll put it over where we want to put the uh, auto, uh, the airlock door. Hello, hello, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we're just going to connect that directly so that we don't need a uh, transformer for this part. How much does a transformer cost anyway? 200. It makes some heat though. Unless there's a reason we don't want to use the transformer. Oh, we do need a transformer for um We do need a transformer for the airlock door anyway. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna need a basic transformer though. Since the power draw from this room is going to be so low. Probably. And we can fit some more storages over here. Uh, so that means that should have insulated tile there. I don't think they can actually reach this. There's our Weezwatt. Fantastic. Now we need to start pumping chlorine into this room, get everything else out. That's going to take a bit of energy. Uh, Alright, can we fit an Arbor Ache on here? We can. Beautiful. Very nice. Spice grinder. That's when we can make a proper kitchen. I might put the kitchen on the opposite side of the mess hall. Oh yeah, we were gonna... Uh, we actually already have exposed this to space. Let's hurry up and seal that off. So we're not just slowly venting all the gas in the asteroid out of there. Just a manual airlock will do. And I want to pump waste gas. So let's say the middle one is oxygen. Uh, this will actually line up perfectly. And we're going to do waste gas, two tiles to the right of that. Although, I don't really see the need to force myself to dig around all of that just yet. So, from the middle of the base, if we find some gas that isn't oxygen, we're just going to get rid of it. Although, I might add a filter for the moment, whereby if we find chlorine, we want to put it 
in here. It's going to be difficult to fit. No, it's not. Okay, it's going to be somewhat difficult to fit. We need to make a vacuum in here as well. What's this tree's problem? Irrigation pressure. Oh, it needs water? It needs polluted water. Um, I think it would be better if we go for the farm tile there. Plumbing. No, food. Hydroponic farm. Let's go. Actually, couldn't I put it here? We should be able to fit one more that way. Perfect. Sloda is... Doesn't have that much spare morale, so we're just going to do improved carrying. Sea Moogle. Pretty much the same thing, but hard digging. Okay. I could lay these out so that they're going to fit when we place the reservoirs later on. just kind of connect them all for the moment. Seems good. And same deal over here. Gonna make a bunch of L's. And for the moment just connect them up. Make the others low priority. Actually that one normal priority. Alright, what are we printing? Uh, we got operating, doctoring, suit wearing. Doctoring, farming, building. Not too excited about any of this. And we're going to need looted water to find its way back here. The only concern I have about this layout is whether the polluted water is hard prior is going to hard prioritize heading for this bridge, for example. I guess I could always could I though. I'll have to figure it out as we go. Have some liquid bridge priority shenanigans. Why 
Why are they not building this? Invalid building location, waiting delivery. How much copper ore do we have? 6.8 tons. That seems okay. was that red alert? We'll never know. They still haven't built this lavatory. Queued that up quite a while ago, actually. Um, let me prio this so that we'll be ready when I decide to build the airlock. What are we researching? Devil's Dandruff? Nice name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pressure. 74.6 grams of chlorine. Okay. Sweep that away. Before we fill this up with water. And well, been a good day. Fantastic. Good to hear. Let's copy settings for more storage there. Oh, and I was... I actually forgot I was going to have storage down here. Um, maybe not quite. Maybe we put all the liquid reservoirs up here and storage is down here. Whoops. I could move that pump over as well. So it's right below the liquid vent. And we want... On second thought, the pump really doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Because gravity. And I'd like to have at least... Let's say six. Uh, six storage bins. Nice and close to the ladder. Let's make it ten. So ten storage bins and then back to liquid reservoirs. Let's make it eleven, I guess. Then again, if we're storing it in a room full of chlorine, does it really matter if it's underwater? Then again, again... Uh, we're gonna get the liquid before the chlorine, right? Vim doesn't have much morale to spare, so we'll wait a bit. And I 
can't actually put the heavy what wire through here, can I? I kind of want to go ahead and start using the heavy watt conductive wire down the middle already. You could do 116 tiles of it. That's pretty good. But I would have to move the deodorizers or I guess just have the cable go around them. That's fine. Okay, so in that case... Uh, there shouldn't be any harm in building this over the top of it for the moment. Not until we start putting more power into it anyway. And again, isn't it going to be difficult to remove specifically the wires after we do that? You'd be experiencing an odd glitch in the system, but does your latest Terraria VOD have a part number? Um... Let me double check real quick. Latest Terraria VOD. Uh, where's my videos? There we go. Uh, don't dig up Arena Lost Master Part 5. Yeah. For YouTube. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that later. Uh, it's possible I sent it before updating the name. Okay. Um, let's just hurry up and get started with replacing this wire before I procrastinate it to hell and back. Frankly, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It is... is it part four perchance? I have a much easier time with VODs on YouTube. Uh, well the latest one... I, th I think I've double-checked today actually. Uh, I'll have to triple-check. There's still the VOD on Twitch, Arena Less Master part five. Um, but I thought I made sure it was all up to date today. Thanks, damsel. Much appreciated. Okay, so we're gonna do heavy watt wire. All the way through here. And... Uh, wait, I need to deconstruct these first. Through here as well. here, and here, and here, and here, and I'm not even going to worry about that one. Could I not prioritize the Y specifically? I guess not. Priority construction 6. Fantastic. Oh, we finally got the lavatory. Although it says there's an empty pipe, because there's no water yet. Of course. Oh, we also broke this somehow.
How's our calories? Looking pretty good, actually. How's our temperature over here? It is slowly melting away the heat. Well, maybe that's not the best way to describe getting rid of heat. Slowly chilling the heat over here. Should probably just move these over a bit. Are, are we really running the manual generator instead of replacing the wires right now? Also, that is frustrating. I definitely marked the regular wire here for deconstruction, but that job has been removed. Okay, it shows it as if it's going to replace it, but I've seen them not do that before. I don't trust it. Like, I've seen it end up with both types of wire on the same spot and overload the weaker wire. Okay, that seems good. And we actually are running pretty low on lead already. We could do 12 more tiles like that. Oh yeah, I didn't put this bed here yet. Whoops. Top priority. Someone's probably been sleeping on the floor. Glacier Wolf, Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vermeltlich Schlon. What? Somehow for replacement they have to bring the materials in before deconstructing. Hmm. That's kind of even worse. Wrong chat. <laughs> Okay, then. What are all these things we don't have... Fertilizer? Uh, organic? No. What category is fertilizer? Agriculture? Fantastic. And seeds. I thought we already dealt with seeds. We did. What's this? Shoya seed? Filters not designated. We print, uh, decorating, sorry, doctoring, supplying, decorating, noodle arms, don't think so. Let's get the fertilizer. Since the thick wire can't go inside walls, how do you make decor good plus rooms look nice? Uh, the main bus is basically just going to be uh, a lost cause for decor, but for rooms like, uh... For rooms where we're not saying decor is a lost cause, we're going to use uh, transformers. Um, but for now, I just want everything on the one power network, so I don't have to worry about overloading wires. If you want to replace a copper wire with copper radiant pipe, Can you do that? Discover that the pipe they deconstructed dropped some copper and need to transport that. Brilliant. Don't need any regular hatches. Uh, 
Oh. Whoever it was couldn't get here. Is it because of lighting in those few rooms? What do you mean by lighting? Also, do we still have lead down here that we haven't brought up? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That's good. A decor. Oh, right, sure, yeah, that's one thing. Absolutely. But, like, when we, when we make the kitchen and, like, certain crafting areas look nicer... Well, I guess you can't make it look okay where there's a rock crusher, for example. But stuff like electric grills and exosuit forges um, will definitely be using the wire hidden behind miles for that one. But yeah, dupes hate the sight of pipes and cables and stuff that are critical to their survival. Well, not pipes for some reason. Uh, power cables, for example. So... They hate it so much that there's really no way to get this area back to positive or neutral for decor. Stardust Nebula, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we've actually finished building everything here so far. And Butchy Bum, thank you very much. This is becoming a habit. For the resub with Prime. Uh, I very much appreciate that habit. Thank you. Doing good? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, Alright, we can put our Arbor Acorns over here now. But uh, they're not going to grow until we get polluted water in the system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It should actually prioritize the trees just because this one's slightly closer. Or well, I don't know if it's going to prioritize or just all of it go that way, actually. Playing Oni today, indeed. Still learning the game. Uh, let's copy settings across here and uproot these two. Zaxxon, thank you very much for the Prime sub as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, Damsel... We can give you a free skill, construction, Barbie actually has a few morale to spare. Uh, then again, we're not trying to make any art just yet, so we'll probably sleep on that. And Morpheus can do grilling. Uvim can easily afford improved construction too. Name a dupe. Okay, it'll have to wait until I get some more. We can't really bring in more at the moment. I don't think. Liquids always split 50-50 at intersections. If you want priority, you need a bridge. Okay, so do they split 50-50 even though the length is different here? Is what I was wondering. I don't mind if 50% goes to the trees. It should be enough. Probably. Otherwise, I could go to the trouble of a priority bridge, I guess. Actually, that sh shouldn't be too hard. It's going to be a little bit ugly. But yeah, that should prioritize the trees. Okay. 
If they're not built this wire, they have. So I guess all that leaves is the door. Oh, they're still building the... Uh, the heavy bot conductive cables. Is this able to get a charge yet? I don't think so. As long as there's no one stuck in there. What? Oh, it is getting charge. Okay, we're gonna need a gas pump. Preferably in the middle of the room. And we're just going to pump everything out for the moment. Oh, it needs some plastic for a high pressure one. In that case, we might just have to be patient with this emptying. Your sinks are outputting to this pipe and you just built a bridge loop? Uh, so I want the polluted water to go up here as a priority to the trees that need polluted water and secondarily back to uh, the water CF. What is this sound? Oh my god. Really? How did you even accomplish this? I swear to god, if you die this way... Are we actually not able to remove it? Aaron's unreachable. I, I, I honestly have no idea how Kevin pulled this off. I, I, I literally don't know. His legs, Lamau, indeed. <sighs> I think, um, actually, we should make sure all three tiles above the airlock are closed off. I'm not even going to allow anyone in there until it's vacuum. And they've stopped bothering to build it. Come on, just finish this one job. There you go. On the plus side... Nope. Can't even give them that much credit. I was going to say, on the plus side, the heavy watt conductive wire is finished. Uh, this is false. Alright. Um, let's stop this gas pump for now, since it's not really accomplishing a whole lot. And we don't have the power to spare. Is our airlock door fully charged at least? Don't need the second bridge for priority. I need the second bridge to get over 
uh, around this pipe, uh, this right here, because we're going to have pipes going up and down here, 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 and here. Skills, um, improved carrying for evil plot, fantastic. We can wait on masterworks. Uh, advanced research is free. Sheep say mare. We'll wait until you have more morale. Oh. Oh, and did we get damsel? Damsel's the one who, the second person who needs Puvim and Damsel. I'll just double check. Uh, let's see. Damsel. Bio. Will imagine scary shapes in the dark at night if no one leaves a light on. Nyctophobic. Okay, Puvim is also nyctophobic. All right, cool. I want to become part of the chaos too. Uh, well, you'll even if you have the points, you'll have to wait until I have the space for more dupes as well. We're already past the number of dupes I settled on for a long time last playthrough. And we're actually losing calories, it looks like. Oh, no, it bumped back up. No, we're definitely losing calories. Wasn't it like 30k before? Um, what's the temperature like over here? Pretty good. Let's get some more plants. Why are they, like, just coming through the airlock and then gasping for air? You know what? No one is allowed through here for now. And actually, could I put this... somewhere else? Because I want to hurry up and put the Atmos suit dock in place already. It's also already over pressure. A little bit. Oh, we already have a print again? Cooking, doctoring, supplying, I don't think so. Hemorrhaging calories, everyone's on a strict 500 calorie per day diet? Uh-oh. Copy, paste. Fantastic. What's the gas pressure like in here? 74, 50 grams per tile. It's actually going to take a fair bit of energy to empty this. Alright. We put the atmosuit suit docks here. And the checkpoint up here. And probably just get rid of one of these, to be honest, for the moment. Deliver suit. And oxygen comes from here. 
Both my allergy pills expired. Uh-oh. Alright, how's our power? That looks better. That looks much better. And this can go here as well. We're actually super low on lead already. But we'll get that sorted relatively soon. Now we just need to empty this room and then we'll start pumping uh, chlorine into it that we've accumulated all over the place. So we've got what gases? Oxygen, chlorine, hydrogen, uh, polluted oxygen, CO2. So oxygen we'll just put back into the base. Chlorine goes in here. Hydrogen, I kind of want to store it a little bit. Uh, can we get... Where is it? Wait, do we not have gas reservoir? We actually don't have gas reservoir researched. Though, storing gas is actually terrible density. Um, you're better off just cramming it into a room. But I do want a container to check how much we've got up here. Oh, Sheep Sea Mare has plenty of morale points. Um, let's go for advanced medical care since you're the only one. Fantastic. And we're down to... Wait, that seems to have gained oxygen. 78 grams in that tile. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Should try getting a little more lead. Actually, dig this way first. And this. And this. And this. Seems good. Reddit upvotes. Well, uh, the ice fell and we need to dig through this. Might need some ladders to make this work. Okay. And let's go over here for some more Weezwat. Maybe just put that here, even.
every time I check, we've got about the same amount of oxygen in this tile. And yet we're constantly pumping. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I made that an airflow tile. That was of suboptimal intelligence. That is, in fact, an airflow tile, yes. Boo Baron, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was going to be an airflow tile because we, could, we were going to have liquid up to here and then you get a bit of gas stuck in the corner sometimes. But, um... And they're taking a break. Cool, great, wonderful. It's not like we're wasting energy with every single moment that you don't build this one tile. There you go. Alright, that might make it a little bit easier to empty the room of gas. Just a, just a wee tad. Uh, how's our research? Five out of fifty. Oh, that's catalytics. Did we get the gas reservoir? We did. Fantastic. Alright, so I think I would like... Gas reservoir. Hydrogen. Generator. Just like that. Uh, and we're basically just going to have... Well, first we need to not let this gas out. Whatever, we'll deal with it. Just put a manual airlock here for now. Um, but we're going to want some logic here to just... Store hydrogen and... Consume it if it's going to get full. Which, come to think of it, there's some latch behavior built into reading uh, the gas storage directly. So we shouldn't need any, I was going to say combinators, we shouldn't need any logic gates or anything. Literally just connect that directly. Or maybe a not gate will be necessary. Um, I'll put the knot gate there and we can just remove it if it's not needed. And snip it if it is. The gas layout here is a little bit inconvenient, but that's probably fine. And from there, I think we'll probably have hydrogen... Uh, our hydrogen source, two tiles to the left of center. Seems good. And I was planning to have hydrogen as coolant on the sides of the main bus later on. Serial lurker here, I'm afraid. Nothing wrong with that. I retreat back into the shadows of my blankie. Enjoy the blankie. Lurking is valid. It's fine. I keep checking on research, but we're actually already done for what I'm concerned about for the moment. Okay. Uh, I need to set it so that we disable auto harvest for these, but not until we actually need the to feed the dracos. For the moment, every bit of food counts. All right. 
So we're down to 5 grams. That's much better than 50. This room will be empty in no time. Um, I would like to wrangle the pip, but we don't have the polluted water. Wait, we're going to need to get this working before we have the polluted water to feed the pip. I forgot the minor detail of including a pump down here as well. Alright, let's let people through here again. Hopefully they don't get stuck somehow. And pump. That's a filter. I think it's going to be shaped like this. What are we printing? Spicy tofu? Seems good. Chlorine looks kind of cool. Stone hatchling upside down looks kind of nice. I love that little smile on him. Tiny baby. Oh, let's get this stuff out of the room as well. Oh, we're auto wrangling already? That was supposed to be max 5. Oh wait, the stone hatchlings won't actually eat much of anything, right? Sedimentary rock, igneous rock, obsidian, granite, copper, ore. Yikes. Not played only in ages. Are there any good recent updates? Uh, I don't actually know that much about Oni myself. I haven't been a long time player. Can we please get this deconstructed so I can queue up the rest? I feel like I should do something about this hydrogen. It's probably just going to find its way up here. It's probably fine. Okay. Down to a few hundred milligrams of gas per tile. Eggshells. Wasn't there something we do with eggshells? Eggshell to lime. There it is. I usually get obsessive with having my base completely self-sufficient, like using geysers and naturally planted things to supply everything I need. Uh, yeah, definitely. That's the way to go. It gets tedious. It could do. It, it, it are me? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we're not researching? Uh, what have we not researched? Uh, this? Research is really not urgent at the moment. Oh, and I wanted to see here. Okay, red signal when full, green signal when low. So we do want a knot gate.
green signal when full, red signal when, let's say, down to 80%. Seems good. And we're going to want to process salt water. Well, first I have to make a better catchment area for it. Right about here. Or down here. And we'll probably have a door like so. trapped themselves already? I didn't even prioritize this tile. There is oxygen in here, despite the fact that we see them holding their breaths. No one gonna build this? I guess not. They're actually standing idle instead of... I guess there's no sandstone in here? Let's do it like this for now. Okay, we're down to single digit milligrams. Pretty soon this will be empty. Fantastic. Uh, let's copy settings across there. No seed available. Uh, why haven't we dug up this way? And we need one more. Also this one. Alright. Do we need to key research again? Not just yet.
It always seems like it's never going to actually reach vacuum, and then it does. Our little reservoir for salt water is almost finished. Uh, so I think I would like to put the desalinator right about here. And then we would have to get water all the way back here. That seems fine. Actually, the water will be prioritized... to go into the electrolyzers, which is good. So we're just going to do, uh, do it like... I can't exactly have the water input and output on the same pipe. What a tip about the desalinator. What could that be? Liquid pump into here. And... Hmm. Uh, it is okay to pump water into the... Water CF, and it'll just come straight out without being processed. But it can be completely submerged, so if you make it out of something heat resistant, it'll just cool by the liquid it's in. It can be submerged. Interesting. In that case, I would definitely like to build it over here. Uh, and just put the pump next to it. Pump water back in here. Or straight back into this bridge here. Or here. That would work just fine. Does it cost any power to run water through the water CF? I think I'll just do water as a source from the reservoir in the middle and water input on the left might be good. Oh, that's not going to go there. Yeah, that might be okay. And then I'm going to have to go bridges like so. That's actually backward. I could do a circuit for water, but That has its own complications. That should be fine. Okay. 
Okay. We might just do a transformer up here if only because we are low on lead. We've only got eight. Eight more tiles of heavy watt conductive wire. Four eighty five hundred wait what? Two forty four eighty nine sixty. This is all already well over a thousand. Maybe I should just get some more lead. What are we printing? Free copper? Free refined copper? I'll absolutely take that. Especially when refined metals other than lead are so precious right now. Uh, why don't we just make another Atmo suit? Right off the bat. Only thing is that dupes may need to service it from time to time. That's true, but it's really not that big of a deal. Speaking of which, if they do have to service it, we should pump up the priority. Alright, what about digging down here? They haven't done a whole lot... Um, I could increase the priority. And we could put another Atmo suit dock down here. I think... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Cancel. There we go. And he just dropped the Atmo suit down here. Uh, I want two suits down here. Before we have two up here while they're still scarce. Oh, we got vacuum. Fantastic. Beautiful. Alright, so... Remove... All of this. Actually... Probably keep some of it here because I'm going to want to pump gas back in. Uh, and what I want to do is put pumps in various places and filter them all. Um, we'll bring oxygen here. Wait, this is oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oxygen here. Everything else gets filtered through here. Chlorine is going to make its way down to our water reservoir. Oops. Oh, that's pipes. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter where this is. We're not going to be able to do a high pressure output for the chlorine until we have plastic. So we'll just see how much we can put in there for now. Uh, and then lastly, we want hydrogen to go into here. And then... 
everything else, which should be carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen, uh, we're just going to vent into space for now. So we're going to clean up the gas in the base. Some more, um, some more pumps inputting to that spot would be good, especially around about where we've got a bunch of gas we don't want. Why is it behaving like that? That's so weird. It doesn't actually have anywhere to go yet, so I'm not sure what it's doing. Oh, and we can finally place this uh, water pump. Is this reachable? Yeah, it's reachable. Gases usually go to one end of the pipe if there's something connected, regardless of it being input or output. Interesting. Same thing up here. Gonna need some... How much lead do we have? 795 still. Not digging down here. Probably because the Atmo suit didn't have oxygen. So for the moment, let's just do some more Transformers. Um, I'm going to put one up here in the meantime anyway. So let's just borrow that one. Oh, but we don't have the lead to reach up there. Let's see. Uh, I would have to move some of the storages. I guess we'll do that. We can definitely just barely afford that. Uh, and then we'll go with crappy old regular wire. Which is not going to quite be able to run all of these gas pumps at the same time. But it's not going to overload either. Got a bunch of gas over here as well. Let's remove one of the triage cots. And we're going to need wire all the way up here as well. Uh, we should definitely be running these filters. That would be a good idea. Priority the wire. A 
before we get polluted oxygen sinking down into the base. So I'm going to do those last two. There we go. Now we don't have power anyway. Oh, we haven't actually built these yet. Perfect. Current errand, Boovim. Fantastic. Good job, Boovim. Now we can start sucking up that polluted oxygen just in time, actually. seems to be the problem here. Probably the fact that this is an unreachable build. Okay. And let's prioritize this one. Still gonna wait on a bunch of O2. Before that suit will work. Um I could just disable uh the Atmo suit checkpoint for the moment. The reason we're gonna use Atmo suits here is gonna be it's gonna be full of high pressure chlorine later on and the dupes really don't appreciate that without a suit but currently it's just vacuum in here so that's actually fine oh never mind I guess there was no reason to expect the dupes to actually flick that switch before are you serious you came over there with the Atmo suit in order to flick the button to disable the building. Bruh. The dupes will get disinfected while they work. Uh huh. Finally, we've got this uh, outlet. And there goes the chlorine. And there goes the everything else. Do we have a filter on this? We want hydrogen to go into the hydrogen storage. And the rest can GTFO. Oh. That means the germs that come back from the lavatory are going to get cleaned up very, very quickly. Actually, come to think of it, if the liquid is in the reservoir, is it not going to get cleaned? I guess we'll find out. What is this? Polluted water? Oh, I don't think I actually have a place for the polluted water to go. Did we not? Oh yeah, I did a tap down here to drop off polluted water. It is cleaned if chlorine is around. Okay, cool. That's a lot of food as well. Or it's mostly seeds, actually. Research. Let's just go top to bottom at this point. Not even going to worry about the skills yet. How do we still not have more Weezwad? Probably because we don't have that much oxygen 
going to the Atmo seats. You came here just for that? Okay. How much coal do we have? 56 tons? Maybe I should consider burning some of it. Uh, I'll probably take the copper. Researching, operating, farming. Decreased medicine. That's all fine, but like... We don't really have the space for another dupe right now. And let's get this other room cleared out of random gas. Fantastic. Come to think of it, we're not going to get the hydrogen uh, if we don't put the pumps up. Top. Unless we somehow manage to turn this into a vacuum. How many critters do we have here? Six. Okay. Um, we're not really using... Oh, stone hatches aren't permitted. Oh, no. Well, there's your problem. Wait, no, this was going to be for pips. This one up here. That's why we're constantly wrangling the poor stone hatches. Okay. Are they not overcrowded? Critters 6. Maybe they're about to be overcrowded? Why is there a shine bug in here? Like, wrangled. I don't get it. And why is hydrogen not... Oh, that is where it's supposed to be. Okay, cool. Critters have different requirements for space. Indeed. Yeah, that is where the hydrogen is supposed to be going. Cool. I should come up with a system, like, for the end stage design of the base, whereby we can clean out undesired gases. Probably need, like, a... a gas sensor and a small pump in each room. It seems a bit much. I think I'm just going to have to put up with that hydrogen up there for now. We got the chlorine mostly out of the way. Also trying to still fill these uh, oxygen the Atmo suits up, so... I don't mind that they're sucking in air unconditionally just yet. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I think what we'll do as well is airflow tiles in places like this. So theoretically, the lighter gas will find its way out of the base eventually. But then, theoretically, the chlorine should find its way down here, and that's not happening. But this is fine for the moment. I'm more concerned about getting the chlorine out of the way. is this bleach stone. Uh, how about we store that down here along with slime, polluted dirt, rock pile I guess. Uh, where does bleach stone come in? Consumable ore? Copy settings? And sweep. Half of playing Oni is having the game physics work for you. Indeed. Okay. There's actually still more chlorine lying around here than I would like. This room's about as good as it's gonna get for now. Probably should have done this something like that, actually. It's not like we're going to get a vacuum in here. So they take turns this way. Alright, that room is actually looking pretty good now. Let's get rid of that pipe and so on. And this room is also quite good now. Decon these two. Don't need any more gas pipe here. Fantastic. How much chlorine do we have here? 188 grams per tile. Not a whole lot, but it'll clean the germs out regardless. Once we do put um, pol uh, polluted water back in there from the bathrooms. Alright, let's get some water in this thing. We're going to have a liquid pump down here, and we're actually just going to bring it right over there. Let's get a wire connection. Uh, like so. Wire bridge. And 
probably dig all of this out. And over this side, we'll have a pump like this. Or even, how about this? Bring the wire through here. So, and since we know this is all pure water, uh, I think we could probably just pump it straight in this way. Oh, what's this? It's uh, supplying water to itself. The reservoir is... Okay, there's our first water to the lavatories. And let's get some sinks in here as quickly as possible. Plumbing, medicine, sink, there we go. And I want that high priority before someone goes to the bathroom without washing their hands. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? <sighs> I should have expected this. There's gonna be germs everywhere. Just absolutely everywhere. And they still haven't even started on any of the sinks. Even though we do have a night shift. Oh yeah, now, now you're going to do the sinks. Good. After everyone spread germs all across the entire... Across the entire base. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Good job. Robo Jumper. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is as big as a bathroom can be, right? Maximum 64 tiles, yes. Alright. So now we've got polluted water for our trees. Or not. Oh, here it comes. Let's see where it goes. It's actually going 50-50. Um, alternatively, I could have the polluted water go up this way. That would kind of wreck the purpose of the main bus. It looks like... Well, no, I was going to say it looks like we can... Pressure? Oh, right. We'll probably get rid of these uh, gas pumps now. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to be producing enough polluted water to support the arbitraries if half of it comes down here. If you're doing a main bus, you got to do a line for solid material too. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, they still haven't built this because they couldn't reach it. Deconstruction go burr. Fantastic. Um, I think we're probably ready to dig this out, right? And then we can finally analyze it as well. I really want to see you experience the DLC for the first time. I have almost lost so many dupes in space. It's wild how fast things can go south. Uh-oh. And immediately begin the analysis. Nice. Well, we didn't open it up when it's trying to spew out salt water regardless. I think chlorine is going to find its way out here once this fills up with uh, salt water as well. Hmm. I could increase the storage in this space a little bit quite easily. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Sa Safen Safena Magma? Uh, Magma? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I'd really like to get some more lead. Can we do that? Oh, we did. I mean, we've got access to it anyway. Fantastic. Let's bring our main bus, the cable, up here. Um, probably remove those. And hurry up with it so I can queue up the rest. Fantastic. Uh, we actually have no further use for this transformer right now. I could leave it there just in case. Then again, it's probably producing heat just by existing. A little chlorine around the base will kill off residual germs. Usually try to set up a gas bottler at the bottom of the base to catch natural gas and chlorine. Seems good. Morpheus already... 45% done on the geyser analysis. Um, 480, 240. I think I would like a large transformer here. And we'll do some conductive wire. To power these and to power these. Uh, but I want this connected back to the main wire as well. But first I should get this gas out of this room. Let's go with gas pump 
we need to filter it, which means ideally I'd like to just bring it back down here. It's probably the easier way to go about it. So I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of that other stuff from before. And a bridge like so. just do it like this. If this was sucking up polluted oxygen. What geysers did your map roll this time? We've got a hot salt water geyser over here. Um, cool steam over here. Upper volcano. And down this way we've got a regular volcano which I don't yet know how to exploit. I've only seen one natural gas geyser so far. And uh, I think that's all we're aware of at this point. Sephena Magna. Welcome, welcome. Got, conf got confused by the channel points there for a second. I hope you are also doing well. Just picked up Factorio again after some hiatus, and I'm currently trying to catch up with your current K SEK2 playthrough. Very enjoyable and insightful. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. Once you have plastic to make turbines, you're probably good. That's some nice geysers. Yeah, that's what we're working towards now, because uh, we're going to take this infinite source of water which is slightly colder than this infinite source of water. Uh, and start churning out plastic with uh, Drekos. Since we'll have electrolysis over here. Body temperature is still a problem. I've got four Weezwarts in the area, and it's still a bit too hot here. 31.6 degrees. It's actually just barely. It's just a couple or a few degrees too hot. Um, we haven't found an AETN. I really, really want to find one. Because uh, I came up with a cooling loop last time using hydrogen gas, which is actually really, really effective, really easy. But it seems like it seems like our AETN is going to be miles away this time. Digging out those natural tires would help with the cooling near the Weezwarts. These ones, because they're hot. As in... Why not just transfer the heat to the insulated tile? Nothing here is actually producing heat, it's just got a bunch of heat. Oh, Chlorine gas vent. What good is that? Comes out 99 degrees. Well, on the plus side, we know chlorine is infinite. Uh, so if it's a nuisance, we could literally just vent it into space. Chlorine gas is needed for growing dash of salt vine. I think the only point of that is to get salt... 
and we already have a source of salt. Unless we want to grow every single plant for the hell of it. Um, we can turn chlorine into bleach stone using puffed princes. We can use it to convert rust that we don't have into iron. And the bleach stone is only good for hand sanitizers, which I'm not overly concerned about. Water weed? Bleach stone plus salt water. Lettuce? Lots of calories. Decor plus 10. Well, that's something. Thirty-two degrees, thirty degrees. Uh, we're also producing a bit of heat with this power transformer. But that's only the same as a regular transformer. We should probably go capture some Drekos. Do we not have any that are already accessible? Oh! Speaking of rust, wait, what machine converts rust? Uh, rust solid, it goes into a rust deoxidizer, 450 kilograms per cycle. And we also need salt. Yeah, I don't think this is worth the headache, especially because there's going to be a remainder left over. Uh, I think we'll just skip it this time. Oh, and analysis is complete. Active period. Next activity isn't for 50 cycles? Oh, no. Um... Well, we should probably have the reservoir feeding... The electrolysis, regardless. So, something like this. And power is already connected. Uh, I think that's literally it, though, isn't it? We're going to turn on this gas pump when we detect hydrogen. Uh, when, when we know that this could only be hydrogen here. Apart from not being able to feed the Dracos because it's too hot over here, uh, I think we're pretty much ready to wrangle them. Also, the fact that we don't have much power. Hmm. This area is full of CO2 regardless. Oh, can they actually not get down there? Bruh. I'm very tempted to use coal for power. Oh, there's also natural gas. Oh, natural gas is a headache, though. We've got polluted water and CO2 as outputs. And the natural gas geyser is way down here as well. Decon the natural tiles and sweep them. There's going to be even more heat. When you turn on the electrolyzer. Yeah, I know there's going to be heat then. Um, we should probably... Oh, cool. We are getting enough polluted water for the trees. Fantastic. Very good indeed. I'm thinking maybe we should have like a liquid reservoir 
We can't actually fit it properly though. I could move this over a tile. Uh, I would definitely feel more comfy if we have a liquid reservoir for polluted water right before it goes into the trees. Or I could move the grooming station over. Either way. Okay, copy that. Deep on that. Water Reservoir. Right about... here. And if we end up consuming polluted water faster than we're making it, at least we'll have some time before the trees start dying. Alright, cool. Pressure? What's the pressure it's looking for? 150 grams. Uh, well that, that'll that sort itself out eventually, I think. Also, why is there so much polluted oxygen here? Seriously. Has our power been that bad? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, is this just hydrogen in here? Yeah, it is. Good. Oh, it is going to a filter. Uh, let me just double check. Materials... Yeah, there's literally nothing but hydrogen in this room. So we could actually just... not run it through the filters. How's our temperature here? 29? 31.5? It's getting there. Do we have any more Weezwort, I wonder? I think I've already got the settings okay that they will supply the deodorizers, but I'd rather make sure. What? Settings applied. Oh, there's no more... There are two more wart seeds. There we go. Please tell me we can find an AETN. Nothing? That's the whole cold biome. That's literally the entire cold biome. I think we'd be able to see a gas input for it, right? So we need to find... Here's another cold biome. Alright, we need to explore over this way. Preferably without digging up the abyssalite. Oh, that's happening quickly. A 
almost out of hydrogen in this room. Fantastic. Forty eight point five cycles before we get salt water. That's a little rough. Oh, what's the overheat temperature for this? 75 degrees. The salt water comes out at 95. Uh, we need to change what we're building this out of. We can go to 125 if we use gold amalgam. Uh, the liquid reservoir also has a overheat temperature. Oh, and all of a sudden they've dug all of that out. Okay. Um... think for a bit of a stopgap we should probably have some coal generators but I definitely don't want to rely on these long term actually let's put a smart battery here So that we don't waste coal. I'm putting them here because there's already a bunch of CO2 here and it's not going to be the worst place to generate a bit of heat. Automate generators using sweepers? Yeah, we're not there yet. We don't even have plastic. Okay. Uh, desalinator made out of gold amalgam. Uh, reservoir made out of gold amalgam. And pump made out of gold amalgam. Overheat temp 125. 95 degree salt water coming in. Come to think of it, if someone has to operate this, they're going to get scalded. Like, really badly. So, we're not going to put our desalinator in the same room. I don't want to have to get them to wear an Atmo suit just to come over here. Uh, so, refinement, desalinator. Probably going to put that here. And I can go there, I guess. Uh, it won't need to be made of gold amalgam, but we've got plenty. Need some more ladders over here. Need to research something about this. And what do we have here? A vending machine. <laughs> Amazing. What I really want to see, though, is an AETN. Can we hurry up with this exploration? Yeah, 
Fantastic. Still got some waste gas being vented. This is fine. Still getting a little bit more chlorine down here. Printing time. Gold amalgam? Sure, why not? Can they not breathe up here? Polluted oxygen. It's just a little bit of CO2. Okay. Don't see our AETN yet. Don't tell me it's not guaranteed. I think I would cry. Okay. Yes, thank you. It's not what I meant to click on. We've actually got a lot of skills to distribute, but morale is not looking that amazing for the most part. Evil Pla has plenty of morale to spare. This is his last fashion skill. Uh, Damsel can do some improved construction and carrying, I think. And Kevin only has three points of morale to spare. Uvim just maxed out construction. Fantastic. And I think that's about it for now. Okay. Smart battery. 10 to 90%. Automation wire, connect directly to all generators, and remove this little piece of wire right here, before we connect this across. Where is this sound coming from? Oh, there's CO2 all the way through here for some reason. What? What is the CO2 doing here, not falling down? Uh, are we thin on oxygen? We're very thin on oxygen. Okay. Why are we so thin on oxygen? Awaiting delivery algae? We've got 9.2 tons. Have they just not bothered delivering to the oxygen diffusers? Really? Uh, we've got two. I thought we had three oxygen. We do. Three oxygen diffusers. And we could probably stand to have a couple more, at least temporarily. About one up here. They're still not delivering to this. Where's the algae? Oh, you're joking. It's all, like, outside of the base. That's why. Um, how about... And all these storages are full, that's why we haven't picked it up. Okay, I'm just gonna allow algae to be picked up. For these containers?
There's our first diffuser back online. We almost, we, we almost got a death spiral where they wouldn't come out here for the stuff that we need to produce the oxygen because there was no oxygen for the suits. That's starting to look a little bit better. You only have two oxygen diffusers, this is too low for ten dupes. Yeah, we're working towards uh, electrolyzer. But it, it was actually three, by the way. But, um... More to the point, all of the algae was down here, and they weren't going to get it. But yeah, all of a sudden there's a lot more oxygen. Okay. Uh, I hate to have to do it, but let's put some airflow tiles here as well. And here, because with these long rooms, we're going to get gas just going left and right, left and right, never actually exiting the room if it's heavier than oxygen. We are slowly gaining polluted water for our trees. Uh, I think it's about time we wrangle these pips. Weren't there two of them in here? Oh, did the old one die? Or did it get outside somehow? Oh, when we when we swapped those tiles, I think it got out. Uh, and let's just double check we have food for pips. Oh right, we don't need the food drop off. They only eat directly from the tree. So we'll decon that. you know the impact on high voltage cable on morale dupe? Do you mean dupe morale? Probably best if we don't have water sitting on our power plant here. And yeah, the dupes absolutely despise anything that keeps them alive. I know that. Sounds like Rimworld. It's not as bad with Rimworld. Just builds sculptures all over, indeed. How's the temperature over here now? Uh, this mealwood is growing some of the time. We're dipping in and out of 30 degrees here. It's actually... Still taking its sweet time lowering the temperature, even with six wheeze watts. Which is why I want to find the AETN, so we can get that coolant loop in motion. I 
I see a door. I don't think the AETN is usually behind a door, is it? Our reservoirs are already full. I guess I could put this up here. Yeah. We'll do the same priority for the water over this way. Dink donk food? Dink donk food. Uh, calories are looking pretty bad. Yes, this is true. Why are we not harvesting this mealwood? No, seriously, why are we not harvesting this mealwood? You couldn't start with the one that's been harvest ready for a while now? No? Okay. Just don't feel like Getting it restarted on the next cycle. I see how it is. I hope we can print some food soon because this isn't working. Maybe I could get some more dupes to do farming. Anyone who's not terrible at it? Morpheus is never going to get around to farming. Uh, I would have to change so many priorities. Where are you going? Picking up copper, okay. You can always make someone dedicated to farming. We do have someone more or less dedicated to farming. Alright, they're finally getting to it. Oh good, they built this in the wrong order. Fantastic. Uh, so that coal is just getting wasted. One more? No? You don't want to... Get this one done. There you go. That filled up that battery very, very quickly. Nice. Alright, what are we printing? Calories? 12k? Seems good. A bit of ice is not too exciting. You had a pip, you could always make a natural mealwood farm. So some of your food won't require farmers. 
Natural mealwood farm. Oh, right. Well, if I hope and pray that the pips will place the mealwood in certain places. But yeah, we are wrangling pips already. Okay. Uh, once again, we have not found an AETN. Very unfortunate. I don't know where I'm going to look if uh, the next cold biome doesn't find one. So we've got 95 degrees for our source of water. Um, we're slowly cooking even without that kicking in. We're not quite growing mealwood in the Draco room. Wait, where did this hydrogen go that was in here? Oh, it already got sucked up by this. Whoops. Wait, because it's on default settings with the filter and buffer gates. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Are you going to go for plastic Dracos? Yes. Best way to get plastic. Way less heat. Not to mention all of the other mess that you have to cause. Um, it's not really needed yet, but may as well connect that power. Speaking of which, why haven't they built this? Okay, that's one wire down. Just above 30 degrees here. We're almost there. This is still 32? Is there actually something producing heat over here? I know the chlorine gas vent hasn't been active because there's max pressure... Five kilograms of chlorine in here. So I'm not sure what's going on exactly. Is that really the end of this cold biome? There might be a bit more up here. Let's get some ladder. Oh. We find our AETN up this way. Because we are really running out of places where we could possibly find it, apparently. Do you need to clear the rock so the chill can get into the air blocks? Uh, well the gas, albeit slowly, will transfer heat. It's just that the amount of heat that we're trying to get rid of up here, it's just a lot. Hey, there we go, our mealwood is growing, and it doesn't seem to be flickering on and off from growing. Cool. But once we start running the electrolyzer, I don't think the Weezwats are going to keep up, which is why I need the AETN, which isn't here. 
Do we really have an asteroid without an AETN? That seems kind of cruel. Also, the oil biome actually goes way further up on the sides here. Um, I guess let's keep looking. I very much doubt is a cold biome over here somehow. Oh, this is all CO2 and they don't have a mask. They don't have a atmo suit this way. Might be a little bit more difficult. As someone that usually keeps the cold biomes in one piece, I'm slightly triggered. Why? I can't believe we haven't found an AETN. I, I've never explored half as much of this as, as this without finding one. It is F7 for gas. Yes, yes it is. So, we didn't get a cool salt slush geyser. We didn't get an AETN. Which means we have no way to delete heat until we use steam turbines? I think. Unless you count Weezwarts. Which are definitely not going to be able to keep up. I don't know. Not sure what we're supposed to do here. Seems there's an awful lot of difficulty variance based on the map. Guess I'm just gonna wait for the dupes to keep exploring a bit more. Is this more cold biome? It is. So this has to be our AETN, right? Right. Actually, oh, what's this? Water and oxygen. Yeah, we can dig through that. I'm all, even if we do find it now, I'm a little annoyed at just how far away it is. I guess it won't matter in the end. It's actually a fairly big old biome, it looks like. This tree's going to start growing soon. Fantastic. Uh, I don't need to know about every bit of disable auto harvest suppress current copy settings. There we go. Uh, and it looks like we've cleaned this air as well. 
get that out of here. dig over here so I can see what you've got. Actually, it's probably easier to just dig, right? And put the ladders as a bit of a lower priority. What are we printing? Food looks a little bit better now, but... Farming, tidying, building. That's great, but... Decreased construction. Eats more food. Snores loudly. Marie... No. Bad. Let's just take some food. Oh, it's a... It's a little baby. I can't just... Meat tenderize a little baby. If we just go for the one Draco... Oh, there's polluted oxygen in here. We need to fix that. Before we get this whole thing in motion. As well. Everyone asleep? No. How is that not getting done? I still see zero AETNs. Uh, okay. How about we ladder across here? Let's see what we get. Unlocked the glass forge automation notification bunker tiles, bunker doors, and let's research all the medicine. Oxygen is looking much better. In fact, all the CO2 that was here has been pushed down into less than half the space by gas pressure. There's still more... Oh! Is this it? No, I don't think so. It could be below here. Fingers crossed. Unfortunately, 
it's a slow process digging ladders down like this. Because they bring the supplies for one ladder at a time. I guess we could try storing some sandstone over here. Or I could make the ladders out of igneous rock instead. That might work. How does this not connect? They still haven't built this? We've got the lead. 12.6k. Do we have it in storage though? That might be the problem. Yeah, that's much faster. There's no... Oh, there's no air here, though. Uh, why don't we grab our uh, gas masks that we've already got? Stations, oxygen mask checkpoint, oxygen mask dock. Just a couple should be fine. And bring the gas over this way. And we're going to need a little bit of power as well. Wait, no, we don't need power for this. Oh, I didn't even notice I dug through a slime biome there. Let's minimize the slime lung. Actually, could I not make that out of igneous rock as well? Yeah, there we go. Then they won't have to go far to build it. Oh, we're already not doing well enough with the polluted water. Okay, I think... I think I'm going to go a bit further to prioritize this. Um, and we're actually going to have... Polluted water make its way up there directly. Get rid of this uh, bridge setup. Get rid of all of those bridges, actually. And we're basically just gonna... Have it go to the trees first. And having a lot of storage really isn't gonna make much of a difference. Why have we got a shine bug, like, wrangled? We don't even have, um... What is it? Airborne critter traps. We've never made one of those. And you wrangled the poor thing. Uh, why are you like this? It's not an AETN. There's still a bit more cold biome over this way, though. Let's dig through here, I guess. I 
don't really care about digging down here. If you have a critter drop-off built somewhere and auto wrangle surplus selected, they can wrangle any critter that happens to be in there, I see. But how did we end up, um... Grooming it, though. I guess shine bugs get groomed the same way as these ground critters. Is there any point to farming shine bugs? Not really. Not materially. What is that? Abyss bug? Spooky. Yatuwatu, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. And good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the five and the other ten as well. Good morning to you also. Cramped, yeah. Not surprising. Uh, how many have we got in here? We've got nine critters. Alright, where are the oldest stone hatches? 34... 34. Rip, 34, cycle old hatches. Are we digging down here yet? Not quite. They still haven't built this. I, I'm not sure how... I'm not sure why they wouldn't have done that. It's really not... It's not made out of anything that they have to go a long way for. And we don't have a lot of construction jobs right now. New base equals new game, indeed. They also still haven't built this heavy watt conductive wire from ages ago. It's only to get this uh, deodorizer going, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but still. RPHL streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Made it to Oni stream, yes indeed. Um, we're just lamenting the complete lack of any way to cool the base before getting uh, steam turbines. Because I can't find a single AETN, and we didn't get lucky enough to get a cool salt slush geyser this time. All of this is bad, let's just take the ice... Polluted ice. Nasty. I'm gonna be very amused and annoyed if it turns out the AETN was just hidden behind some ice this whole time, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to see the gas input. Also, I've never found one that was completely submerged before. Oh, that's where that water is coming from. <laughs> okay. I forgot about this bottle emptier. I thought it was weird that there was water up here. Well, there's your problem. We've actually got quite a bit of water here already. 
may as well go ahead and uh, increase our storage while the amount that we do have is plentiful. Alright, deliver suit, deliver suit. Please do so now. Having ice is extremely ice, indeed. take forever to get this dig done. So that's like one, two, three, kind of. One big one. Four, five, six. Oh, here's a number seven. Ice biomes. I just want to find it. So I can start making plans. What's the cryo on this? It's only five. Food's looking really good all of a sudden. More of the uh, mealwood is growing. That's fantastic. I could use the electrolysis more to put hydrogen in here. Or I could just pump the hydrogen back into this room. And we could start using Dracos before we do electrolysis while we keep exploring and at least we've got the ability to make a couple of steam engines if we don't find the AETN before everything cooks hopefully uh, let's do that I suppose so we need some... Well, why don't we just put an airlock here? And then go in and get some Dracos. Our cable is going to have to go up this way. Actually, build the airlock door last. Otherwise, if we don't do the wire first, it won't be able to be finished. The problem you encounter in this game, you need tech to make plans and you get tech. Uh, but to get tech, you need to plan. Yeah. It's really difficult to... Uh, and, and especially without blueprints and stuff. Um, it, it's really difficult to plan things out nice and neat. I had such a nice uh, setup with the AETN cooling loop that I wanted to do I was all excited that, oh look, this is possible from the early game, this is going to be great. But, are you kidding, is this it? Look where it is! Bruh. That is so far away. Alright, well, that means we can start using it to cool the base once we get electrolysis. 
uh, fire it up. But I, th I still would like to get some Dracos uh, before we do that. Look at this. It's almost in space. It, it is literally as high up as our vent to space. Who puts an AETN in space, honestly? Okay, if we go straight up here, it actually lines up perfectly. That's one nice little bit of luck, at least. It's going to take a while before we get there. Uh, I guess I can deprioritize all the rest of the exploring. I think that's about it, right? How are you gasping for air here? Okay, so we're gonna start... Well, I'm going to have to do something about this gas pipe spaghetti before we do. Also, we're going to need more than a one by to get up here with the gas pipe. Yeah, we're going to need a bit more room. But for now, it's... Well, actually, most of this is going to be insulated. Uh, we've got by far the most sandstone. I might want to use igneous rock though, slow heating. Let's see. Uh, let me just start with the one at the floor level. This one, that just barely works. Nope. And up we go. And up we go. That's not going to collide with anything. Like nasty gases we want to avoid. Seems okay. Um, but I'm going to deprioritize these ones. Scalding? Was that what that was? Didn't get to see it. Balm Lily Flower. Is that a seed? Balm Lily Seed. Balm Lily Flower. A wide range of medicinal applications. Okay. Um, might just do a temporary storage area over here. I don't really want to say hello to that polluted oxygen. Long commutes, you don't say. Alright. 
Did we get that change made to the polluted water? I think we did. Oh, this needs to go here. Uh, hello? Oh, these are backward. Okay. Gotta hurry up and fix that before we make a mess. One, two, three. And top priority for that as well. Fantastic. That was a lot quicker to build than deconstruct. Hmm. Actually... I'm not going to get rid of those pipes. Uh, I'm going to put a storage here. And... Well... I'd prefer to do it with no power required. If I use automation, we're going to have to use a... Liquid shutoff, which does require a little bit of power. What I want is basically for the polluted water not to move through here. Unless there's a certain amount of it. Which would imply that the trees are getting plenty. I could just put in a liquid valve, I guess. Make it go through here slowly, so... Does that change anything, though? I don't think it actually does. Yeah, I think it would have to be more like a fork in the road. With priority. But the fact that all the polluted water disappears over here makes it hard to prioritize it like that. Let's get some eggs for food. It's going to take a while to get all this uh, pipe up here. I think we can get rid of this spaghetti now, though. Let's do that. Well, actually, that's probably going to be exactly where we want some of the pipes. So, leave that for now. Uh, probably get rid of this stuff for the moment. I realize that's going to stop supplying oxygen to the suits. We'll sort it out in a bit. I think trees can consume all the toilet water? Really? I don't think we need this many trees to support the pips, but still. What do the pips produce for us? Is it dirt? Uh, it is dirt. From the arbitrary branches. Oh, they can also eat thimble reed. Didn't even realize. Uh, let's copy these storage settings across.
How many cycles? 34, 35 until we get some salt water. Come to think of it, what's the overheat temperature for this? 75 degrees. Uh, guess what? Unless we're going to cool it before it gets there. Um, that is going to have to be made out of gold amalgam. With that hot water going into it. We probably should do our best to try and cool it before it gets there as well. But I would feel better with the electrolyzer being made out of something that can take the heat. Alright, let's wrangle some geckos. Geckos? Dreckos. Get this thing started. Um, we'll put a temporary gas vent. Right about here. And just disable that pump for now. Wait, 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 what? How did oxygen get in here? Oh no. Oh no. The dupes must have come in here. Uh... Okay. We're gonna need an airlock here, at least for now. Don't let anyone through this door. Priority maximum on these three. And we're going to have to let all of this gas back into... I was just trying to remove this spaghetti over here, but we're going to need it for a moment. It's actually nothing but oxygen in this room right now. Okay. Let's get another airlock over here. And that's going to our filters. Just wait till we have a vacuum in there again. Um, and then I'll output everything from this uh, reservoir, which has three types of gas in it. Back to the filters and back to the reservoir, I guess. Actually, I don't know if that's going to work. How much is in here? 45.7 kilo. That's like five tiles. Five plus nine plus a little bit. So it could probably all fit in this gas pipe before it gets to here. And then we just cut that off. Are we not going to build this? I guess they're building other things. Fair enough. can probably reach enough to expose the AETM. And there's our airlock. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna cut that off. We're gonna cut that off. We're gonna bring this down here. 
We're going to connect that once this is a vacuum, which is going to be very, very soon. And I'm hoping all of this gas is going to go into these pipes quite quickly, and certainly before it gets back up to this filter. Have you used that electrolyzer setup before? Yes, I have. Sloder, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Se uh, Seru, welcome, welcome also. Ser Seru He, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. Alright, 80 micrograms to go. As we very slowly very, very slowly lay the groundwork for using the AETN. Forty micrograms. It is actually getting significantly cooler here. All of the meal would can grow now, that's good. We still haven't wrangled a Draco. Hurry up with that. Oh, there we go. Good job, Kevin. No, don't leave them both tied up. Take them back. Kevin? Ah. Uh. Just a few more micrograms per tile, and this room will be a vacuum. Come to think of it, I should have just got rid of this gas pump instead of emptying this. Oh well, it's done now. whole room's just about to collapse into vacuum. There it goes. Alright, so we can put this here. Cut that off. It should empty all of the gas before it all comes back. And then we can change this back to the way it's supposed to be. Cool. Uh, and it really doesn't... I, I was not going to say it doesn't matter if this stays a vacuum or not. It actually shouldn't stay a vacuum because otherwise this thing's just going to eventually overheat. And there goes our hydrogen coming back. Fantastic. Now we should be able to get rid of the spaghetti. It's a different task now and might compete with 500 tasks. Set your Draco drop-off higher for the time being. That's a good point. I really wish you could set things, settings like that as you place the blueprint um, so that you don't have to wait for the dupes to do something before you come back and set it. Okay, all done with that. Get rid of all of this nonsense, I think. I can't tell if anything's moving. Everyone asleep? Oh, it is paused. Dope. And I'm going to want the hydrogen generator connected to the main power grid.
but we're not going to use that unless we get over full. Also, also, I don't actually want to suck up any hydrogen yet. I was about to put in a gas vent to let some hydrogen in here. But I need to make sure I'm paying attention the moment that that happens. Because I don't want hydrogen coming way down here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's actually at max pressure already. It's good, it's going to slow down. I just want enough hydrogen for the Drekos to get saturated some of the time. It actually looks like all of our hydrogen could stay there. Yeah, that seems okay. Uh, it, it's even over pressure. All right, let's leave it like that. And send you back to where you belong. And what even is this pipe? Oh, that's going to be our hydrogen supply pipe. Why did we pump the room, uh, the oxygen out of the room? Uh, because it was a derp, that's why. Um, the main thing was I wanted to get the other two gases out of this uh, container. Okay, that's fine. Now, when do we get some Dracos in here? Don't tell me, they're not wrangled anymore. <sighs> Not happy, Jen. Oh, the AETN is already mostly dug out. Okay. So... Perfect timing, that's full for the moment. Let's get rid of all this spaghetti. And we'll sort that out somewhere else. In a bit. Gas bridge, get out of here too. And... So we're going to have pipes like so... I wanted the ones on the sides to be... Can we even afford to make it all radiant? 28k, 25 iron ore per... Yeah, that'll be fine. I think we could use the gold amalgam though. Save our iron for later. So we want gradient pipe going up and down the base like so. Can they even reach that? We might need some ladders. And here as well. Once again, we're going to need some ladders, I think. Okay. 
Can we get one single Draco, please? Kevin, what are you doing? You have once again wrangled a Draco and left it there. Damsel is... picking it up, though. Fantastic. Good job, Damsel. Okay. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, we want to get rid of these two deodorizers. We're not going to see polluted oxygen in here again. No way, no how. Couldn't happen. That's definitely not polluted oxygen right there. Um, but the tile count for this room has to be very specific to get the maximum number of Drekos. has to be exactly 96. So now we wait uh, until we get glossy Drekos. How does that happen again? I think the meal would Gives them a chance. 2% chance of laying glossy dracoat eggs. Probability increases when they eat mealwood. Fantastic. Okay. And in the meantime, at least maybe we'll get some reed fiber. Not that that's hard to get. Get rid of this spaghetti over here. And... It really doesn't matter which is which, but... We're gonna have... Whoops. Uh, we're going to have a loop of hydrogen. Running through the radiant gas pipes that goes past the AETN. Feeds the AETN the hydrogen it needs to cool things off. It's going to be supplied by our electrolysis. So I guess... I guess the hydrogen supply itself could just be the loop. I don't think I care if it cools the base down when I, like, supply hydrogen somewhere. I can't really foresee a use case where that would be bad. I might want a bridge over here though, or something, so it doesn't want to suck it, uh, so that it doesn't want to go back over here. I'll figure that out when we get there. Still sick? Sad. Uh, I'm sad to hear it, Andy. Okay, so how did we do this last time? That is liquid. We want gas. And we're basically going to have kind of a priority input for the AETN. Or a 50-50 would be fine. We probably don't even need a bridge. Uh, radiant gas pipe here. That doesn't quite line up the way I would like. I could make it go a bit higher. Or we could have... I 
really would need a bridge there. That's fine, actually. Although... Is that pipe like... We can deconstruct that if we wanted to. Not that there's any reason. Gas bridge this way. Pipe input this way. Isn't that just going to prioritize the gas bridge? But I want it to look neat. Uh, could I not also just do it like this? Or like this? That works. Very straightforward. So we're going to go clockwise, I guess. If we're going clockwise, then this one would have to go up. Which means... Gas bridge. Something like this. Wouldn't it prioritize the gas that's already in the loop and not merge the other gas in? Unless there's a completely empty tile. I do want the loop to be saturated insofar as that's possible. Oh, I could do it like... not like that. Uh, like this, I guess? Would that work? We're gonna find out. That goes across there. This goes through here, all the way back down this way. I could maybe loop the pipes around so they spend a bit more time close to the AETN. But that's the basic principle. And then... This goes down here. Uh, whatever this is needs to go. down here as well. Um, and we'll have to gas bridge across. Is that right? That's not quite right. The other main bus pipes. So, like that. And we can branch off from that when we want to cool a room. Like up here, for example. And we can even temperature control each room if we have room for a... Uh, gas shut off and a sensor. Can we do that behind the trees without wanting to deconstruct them? Unfortunately, no. Okay. So I could probably put a temperature sensor up here somewhere and just loop gas through for the whole room. Anyway, we've got a lot of building before we start tweaking it like that. Over here, though, we could probably do some little tweaks. Like covering a little bit more area. Around the AETM. A 
That's actually one extra t No, that's fine. I need some more ladders to make that work. And a bridge. Oh, that is going to be quite the building project. But we should be able to, despite getting 95 degree water for our source, um, well, actually, we can run the uh, electrolyzer off our much colder water before we do that. But... Despite all the heat we're going to generate, we should be able to be net negative on temperature very easily. Once we start using the electrolyzer, which I haven't rebuilt yet... Out of gold amalgam. There we go. Oh, we should probably stop harvesting these uh, mealwood plants. If we don't want our Dracos to die of starvation. How are they doing? on that front. It seems okay. It's Mealwood's at 76%, so they will probably make it. Are the resources needed for the pipes available nearby? Pretty much, yes. Perhaps you can mine some locally to, spend, uh, to speed up construction near the nullifier. Well, we're wanting... Uh, insulated pipes near the nullifier. And it's all abyssalite and ice that we're digging through, so not really. The rest of it is going to be, uh, I think, gold amalgam for the radiant pipes. So, there isn't really anything nearby I could use for that. Where are we supposed to get these raw metals as an infinite source eventually. Oh, printing time. We've got ranching tidying operating narcoleptic. No thank you. Let's just take some eggs for food. Barely found that working for me. Has stuff literally on their feet. Still runs across the map to get new stuff. Works better for pipes and ladders than metal tiles. I see. I mean, when we started building these ladders out of what was it? Igneous rock. That certainly seems to help, but I wouldn't count on it. We need to research something else. Uh, that's not actually finished over there. I've actually finished the pipe in this section pretty quickly. set this up. If I have the buffer at only one second, and we're waiting till we detect hydrogen down here, we should make sure we keep hydrogen in this room. Oh, 
That really is a long way to go. Good thing the AETN doesn't need electricity or anything. Are the Draco Mealwood even going to survive the hot output? Yeah, because we're going to be using... Uh, we're going to be using the excess hydrogen that we get to feed the AETN, which is going to loop some cold hydrogen through the base. Um, and the generator here is only going to consume hydrogen in the event that it reaches maximum storage in the gas reservoir. The AETN itself only consumes uh, 10 grams per second of hydrogen, whereas the electrolyzer produces... Oh, I shouldn't even be running this yet. Uh, the electrolyzer produces 112 grams per second. Uh, more than 10 times, sorry, more than 11 times what the AETN consumes, assuming this is running all the time. Which it won't be, because it'll reach max gas pressure, for example. But that's okay. Uh, but the heat this produces uh, is only 1.25 kDTU, whereas the nullifier can seriously delete heat. It's actually not that much water that this thing consumes either. You can see it's still going on that... Uh, 10 or 20 kilograms of water that I left it. Okay. That should give us a constant loop for the hydrogen, I think. I might have to play around with bridges a bit more. No harvest pending. Yes, I know. Suppress. Copy settings. Fantastic. So this is actually enough mealwood to support the maximum number of Drekos that we can have in the largest possible stable uh, without them getting glum from overpopulation. What the? No, stop harvesting that. Oh my god. What? What are you doing? Ah, no harvest pending. I just copied those settings. Enable auto harvest, disable auto harvest. So it doesn't copy that. Alright, so all of these should say Enable Auto Harvest. Cool. Great. Wonderful. Good thing we've only got two Drekos so far. Pretty much everything else is more or less on hold until we get these, uh this pipe loop done. Oh, and I need to dig through here to make that happen. Could also drop priority to one to make a point. <laughs> hmm. No, we need to fertilize these. I 
can't believe how much we had to look around to find the AETN though. And I can't believe it's it's further up than the first tile of space that we found. Okay, it's actually about exactly the same. Too many new things to check off. Uh, are we researching though? We are not researching. Let's get low redirection, mechanical surfboard. And that just leaves art and rocketry stuff it looks like. Pretty much. How long until this uh, heat monster spews forth? 27.5 cycles. We should well and truly have this done by then. Cooling the base. Still got access to 11 tons of lead. We've got all that we need for automation. So my idea for this cooling loop as well, we're going to duplicate that same loop with a fluid for cooling, a, a liquid rather, as well, later on. But um, the nice thing about this is we'll be able to have uh, basically something come off from the main bus of coolant. And we'll be able to temperature control individual rooms. Or sets of rooms, if we like. So we're going to have some radiant gas pipe go through here. And I guess up here. And we're going to do a bridge so that it doesn't get confused about where to go. But also gas shut off right about here, I think. And temperature sensor in the same room. And we're just going to connect temperature sensor directly to the gas shutoff. Probably a bridge here, I guess. Or here. Either way. Actually, I think I want the gas that loops through this room to have priority, right? Fifty fifty might be okay. That would then again wouldn't this that slow the flow of this one? Oh, I could do it like this, definitely. So that's gonna have priority. Wait, no, that's gonna have priority. That's the opposite of what I want. Uh I might have to change the shape of this slightly. Uh Pretty sure this part's gonna be right. And I might just have to shape it like that. Perhaps. Uh, and we're going to need some automation wire. Oh, it's already there. So 
So basically we're going to keep looping uh, gas through here that is going to be cold while we are above 25 degrees or something. What's the temperature range for these? 10 to 30. So let's aim for like 20 degrees in the middle of this room. And it's going to need a little bit of power. Seems a good. We're actually creeping towards finishing this. Fantastic. We do get a bunch of lumber even though we disable harvest. So pr should probably make use of that this time. If I wanted to be more strict about controlling the temperatures of individual rooms, um, I could definitely use more insulated pipe, but I do want probably the general, uh, the base in general to cool down more, uh, especially for now. Cooking, building, farming, Luddite. Um, it's probably fine, but we don't really want to increase our population yet. I think I'm going to prioritize the pipes because I would really like to see this thing working today. Let's get our next research queued up. Actually, I want to get the automation stuff all done on the off chance that I decide to use it. Doop 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 doop. Let me just make sure that uh, we're never going to have ice crash on top of our pipes or something as well. So that doesn't need to be as high a priority, I hope. It's happening. Uh, the Weezwats are cooling this whole area. It's just taking its sweet time. We 
We've got a lot of skills to play with, but not so much morale. We could make Damsel a master builder. I think we'll do that. Evil Plur has already done all his passions. Sheep say Meh has a lot of points. Let's go for improved carrying. And that's probably fine for now. Actually, you can take improved strength as well. Or maybe athletics. Yeah, we're definitely pushing you towards rocket piloting. I think. Then again, we'd have to gain like 10 morale for that. It can wait. And Sloda. Sloda can probably wait. Look at me moving up in the world, indeed. It's getting there. Oh, and there's that ice fall that I was talking about. Hopefully in five to ten cycles we can actually turn this thing on. It won't just be a source of oxygen, it'll be cooling the base. Not to mention we'll be getting plastic. Uh, well, it kind of depends when. It's going to be a bit random when we get a drecklet, a glossy drecklet. I should try and set this up sooner next time. Harvest pending. That that's fine. That's good, actually. Twenty-five cycles until heat explosion. We've only got like a hundred jobs left over here. Fantastic. Moogle and Evil Claw having a building race. Nicely done. I hope they can reach... Yeah, they should be able to build all of this. I guess I could put more insulation around here. It's already quite cold, but we are going to uh, be cooling this area pretty much as much as possible. What is that? Chlorine. Holy liquid chlorine. Uh, it becomes a gas at negative 34.6. It's at negative 36.5. I've never seen liquid chlorine before. I guess it can stay there. Can I not actually replace this? I can deconstruct it. The, uh, the green tiles, that is. Ceiling collapse. Oh, this again. That's why we're putting these tiles here. 
suffocating. Uh, you might want to... Okay, that's not necessarily where I would have gone for, for air, actually. Oh my god, not like this. <sighs> Please don't tell me someone's going to die this way. Oh my god. It was actually ridiculously close. Maybe I should prioritize the tiles. Definitely can't take our eyes off them. Could put a pole here so they can get out of the get out of the gas faster. But by the time we build that, they should have finished. I could also move the uh, gas masks up there, but then we have to pump oxygen. Why is there no oxygen here? All oh, right, because we stopped putting it in for the moment. Uh, where should I put an oxygen pump, though? Probably right where I had it, actually. Gas pump would go here. Uh, let's just bridge across there. Except we need to filter it and make sure it's only oxygen. It should only be oxygen most of the time. But we are going to have to filter it to be sure. Rebuild some of that spaghetti. This is in a very awkward spot. Let's just do this. Seems a good. We do have a tiny amount of oxygen over here, so they'll probably find it whenever they're building. And we could probably go ahead and put a... Uh, airlock here, just for the insulation. Wait, did some of that chlorine just drip down? Yeah, and then it turns into gas over here. Hurry up and build this tile in that case. there. And, oh, and the chlorine's gone now. 
Never mind. Oh, and the AETN is running already. Fantastic. Uh, I could, of course, add something to limit... Uh, limit the input if it gets cold enough here, but it does do that by itself. And it seems our loop is at least slightly functional. Nope. We haven't done this part yet. Uh, in that case... Where did all this polluted oxygen come from? Whatever, we've got some deodorizers here. Uh, just dig up this way. And hurry up about it. Oh, actually, those should be emptied. Off-gassing from the storage? Yeah, that's why I'm moving it. And pick all this up in a hurry. We are printing... a nymph. This needs to be moved as well. Well, then they're not using the Atmo because I disabled it. I thought I re-enabled it. What is this? They left slime on the ground here? Bruh. You know what? I guess just keep it disabled for now. I want them to move this uh, stuff into the storage in the chlorine room as quickly as possible. Oh, the slime lung. Oh, nasty. Maybe you should let some of this chlorine out. Ah, your overtime pay sucks. They clock out on time. Indeed. Okay. At least they moved it. And I do mean at least. Let's re-enable this. Oh, and we need a, uh, we need a tap, a bottle emptier over here now. They, it won't work on a ladder, will it? No. Deodorizers plus more O2 for the slime lung? Oh, O2 is pretty decent, actually. It's near max pressure. 
And we've got lots of deodorizers around here. Hey, that's the that's the loop finished. Cool. So we've got a little bit of hydrogen making its way round and round. Just a little bit gets consumed each time. Uh, except we need someone to hurry up and finish this. Because the AETN is no longer grounded. Oh, this thing doesn't have a spot anymore. That probably didn't help with the whole slime lung thing. We lost our floral scent. Okay. Someone gonna go do this? Unreachable bit. Oh. I really wish they would just automatically dig this stuff out. There we go. Boovim's on the job. I don't suppose you suppose you can supply four of these in one. Maybe he can. Nice. Alright, that's the AETN functional again. And that's those tiles done. So it's only up here that we could end up with some ice collapsing, but that's not too likely near the AETN. Although it is dropping uh, liquid chlorine <laughs> down here. Oh yeah, we were going to put some double manual airlocks here just to just to keep this a bit cooler. Imagine if the AI in this game wouldn't be what it is. I mean, it'd be pretty difficult to make it much better. Alright, so our hydrogen should be looping around somewhere. There it is. And it's at a temperature of 10 degrees right now. Negative 28 at the front now, actually. Negative 29 degrees. And hydrogen is as good as it gets for a gas for coolant. Uh, so let's make some more hydrogen. Up comes the water. And we'll get some oxygen while we're at it. We'll also generate some heat here, but hopefully we can get the loop working properly before that becomes an issue. There's no chance the hydrogen gets out this way, is there? I know it can be a little random. I, I think I do remember actually changing this design slightly. Eslin loves to game. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ready to fall asleep? T-Hex's voice. Uh, thank you, I think. I think. Food coma, indeed. Alright, we got... Is that all of our hydrogen? Yes. Yeah, we haven't actually consumed it with this gas pump yet. We're gonna keep spitting out hydrogen until we find hydrogen here for half a minute. 
Uh, and then we're going to start adding some to the loop. But it's actually at max gas pressure, so that's going to be bottlenecked by our consumption of oxygen. I could, of course, expand this out a bit and have more electrolyzers with the same room as far as the gas is concerned, but we can use airflow tiles and still have the stable the same size. Foodman Steve, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is your take on suggestions slash back seating? Uh, keep it limited to things like look at the stats of that material or what's a good example? I don't want to be told, for example, that you should definitely build the Thermo Aquatuna out of steel the first time that I'm figuring out how to do a steam turbine. Uh, that is beyond what I would find acceptable. I love that idea so the Drekos continue to produce fluff, indeed. Yeah, we're just combining our Draco room with our electrolyzer room, that's all. Actually executing the idea was a little bit tricky. Making everything fit and getting the right size of a stable. Uh, but the basic idea of it is pretty simple. Back in the old days, hatches used to eat tubes. <laughs> if they slept on the floor. I think someone told me about that and I forgot. Nom. Oh, uh, we can probably mop this up now. Printing is available. What do we got? Some water? Fertilizer? I think we'll take the fertilizer. Seems it's always raining chlorine here. Negative 42 degree hydrogen. Negative 49. Negative 50. I wonder what temperature it will be by the time it gets back to the base. It's lost a cup. It, it's gained a couple of degrees already, even though it's going through insulated pipe. But it's slowing down how quickly it's losing temperature, uh, gaining temperature. Negative 46. Negative 42. I imagine around about here it might even equalize. Nope. It's taking a bit longer than that. It's now at negative one degree. Cool. I'm thinking I probably should have insulated pipe uh, everywhere except for specific rooms. That we're trying to call. But for now we're just trying to get more hydrogen into the loop, which is going to take its sweet time actually. Because we're just producing a lot of oxygen with the diffusers. I should definitely expand this now. So let's do that. For starters, I'll do some ladders, like so. Dig all of this away. And 
we're going to have more electrolyzers. If I put them too close together, they're just going to be bottlenecked uh, at the same time on gas pressure. So, maybe a few tiles apart. But we definitely want... Insulated tile like this. We definitely want an upside upside down bucket to contain the hydrogen. It's the main thing. Okay, so then some more airflow tiles. And airflow tiles. Wait, I should finish that first. Upside down bucket? Yeah, it's a it's a hydrogen bucket. See? Because hydrogen is the lightest gas, we can count on it to float to the top. Mm, that's close enough, I think. So I might have to add uh, a gas pump to push oxygen to other areas of the base and not just count on the gas pressure to move it around but this should probably be more than enough to support our base for quite a while we seem to be out of gold oh so we are wait that doesn't sound right we had tons I did put a lot of it into Radiant Pipe, but I would have expected the Radiant Pipe not to all get built if we actually ran out of it. Hmm. Maybe it's a huge coincidence. Or maybe I've been making other things out of gold amalgam as well without realizing. Uh, can we look at the materials overlay? Yeah, here we go. We can see what's made out of gold amalgam here. Uh, that's lead, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I made the airlock door. That's out of lead. Um... Smart battery would be lead. Well, I think we just used up exactly all of our gold amalgam. I thought it would be a access to gold amalgam issue, but apparently not. We didn't use 27 tons of it. Yeah, that's... That does sound right, as in, it sounds correct that we didn't use exactly all of it. The volume of it and the odds of using precisely all of it really doesn't seem correct to me. Also, this hydrogen doesn't go where I hoped it would. I could add a bridge over here, I guess. So, where the heck is our gold amalgam, then? If it's not actually all been consumed... There's a ton of it here. There's a lot of it that's unreachable from the slime biome. 
because there's no O2 here, because I didn't set this filter yet when I remade this. Okay. Uh, oxygen. It also needs a little bit of power. Can we hurry up with that? I know you're not all on day shift. Would someone please hurry up and build this? Nope. Okay then. Nobody? Why are you all ignoring this build? It's literally the highest priority it can go without this. That literally took a second. Bruh. Alright, so we have gas, we have access to the gold amalgam. Fantastic. Have you checked the Priorities tab at the top? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, what are we researching? This. And then we'll knock off Art. I've just seen that they have created a puffed plush with farting action. Oh my god. 18 cycles until the geyser triggers. Okay. So we can, in fact... Yeah, we've got 15k gold amalgam remaining. Um, I think we'll do it like this. And I like this, and get rid of those. And then... Now that that's actually connected, replace that with airflow tile. Or I could replace the whole thing with airflow tile, but... I don't think we need to spend that much metal on it, probably. And connect the pipes. It farts when you squeeze it. Uh huh. All right, electronizer number two and three will be up shortly. So I want to deconstruct the oxygen diffusers, or just maybe just disable them. So I can re-enable them quickly if something goes wrong. They've done an advert for it. It's in the style of David Attenborough. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Okay. When do these electrolyzers get built? I was going to say, when do they kick in? It would help if they were built first. Someone's got to go downstairs to get the gold amalgam, I think. Did I ever add gold amalgam to... It would be very helpful if when we set... Yeah, yeah, we did, actually. Uh, it would be very helpful if when we set the filters on storage containers, it didn't just lock us out of anything we hadn't found yet. time. Uh, farming, decorating, digging, decreased husbandry. 
That's fine. Farming and digging. Farming, doctoring, suit wearing. I think I definitely want everyone to have suit wearing if at all possible. I should have been more picky so far. Uh, I think we can wait. Let's take some fungal spore. And not allowed by schedule. Have a UK is building. Fantastic. Wait, no, Harvey, this is his next job. What's Harvey actually doing? Oh, here we go. Good job, evil plot. And it's already at max gas pressure. So we really do need a um, a gas pump to steal from here. I think we'll just move this deodorizer. Put a gas pump quite close to all of these electrolyzers. And get it to put into the same uh, input as this one. I could I should definitely find a more organized spot for this. Before the spaghetti gets out of hand. Let's just do that for now. And power goes here. Spaghet spaghetti always gets out of hand. Yeah, I'm trying to minimize that. But we do have to build things as we go as well. How much uh, hydrogen do we have in the loop? Ooh, more than I expected at this point. Uh, I don't think it's going to take as long as I thought to fill up the loop. Definitely excited to see the whole thing saturated so we can see if our bridge logic is correct. Alright, here comes the gas, through the filter, and there we go. Fantastic. And we could just take from the middle uh, gas pipe to put oxygen everywhere in the base if we want to. Do you know how gas slash liquid bridge logic allows priority and an overflow? Uh, yeah, so this bridge right here, for example, the gas traveling left to right is going to have a higher priority than the gas that's trying to exit from the gas bridge. Um, just like Going over here is going to be a higher priority than going to the hydrogen generator. Uh, this gas going up through this way is going to be a higher priority than this gas that's being added to the loop. That's the idea, at least. Um, we are gaining quite a bit of heat in this room, but 
it'll it'll be a lot more manageable once the loop is actually full. Which is happening a little faster than I thought it would. I am a little bit concerned that we're going to stop feeding our Dracos before that happens, though. Temperature of the base in general is looking pretty good. I'm thinking I should definitely build a proper kitchen on the other side of the mess hall. How big is the mess hall going to be? Uh, the great hall, rather. 120 tiles. Uh, I don't know if it's even going to need to be that big. If we go for 96, we could do... Um, theoretically, 24 dupes. Minus, say, 2 for the water cooler. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So let's go for... 96... Dig it out this way first. Kind of explains why some dupes had such low morale. You'd be missing tables. Oh, good point. Whoops. Where's the middle? 14, 10, 12, and 12. So it's here. And let's get some crown molding, hanging pot. Four tiles, three tiles, maybe. That seems okay. Put the ration box on the opposite side in the kitchen once we're ready. How did this happen? Did someone not drop this in the toilet? It's actually just sand. Hydrogen's looking relatively hot. I guess it hasn't been around the loop once yet. Whereas this one's at negative 46, 47. Okay. Maybe I should have had the loop go counterclockwise since uh, then it would go through here first, the hottest part of the base. Then again, maybe... Yeah, no, that would make sense. Then again, if we went through the hottest part of the base first, we might even be heating up the rest of it under certain circumstances. Oh, oxygen is very much saturated. Let's get the rest of this 
Wait, what? Can you actually have crown molding behind these things? Or in front of them? No, it's going to get rid of the plant. I think we already established that. How many is this? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we could just do it this way for now. Do we not have any more joya seeds? We have one more. Could use those freeze warts to help cool the H down. We already are. It's pretty close. It's not that hot here. Forty-five degrees. Um, the mealwood is still growing, but not for too much longer, I imagine. Oh, this is actually going to 50-50. No, wait, this is wrong. I don't think the hydrogen is going to go through there at all. Uh, in fact, we can just get rid of that gas bridge, I guess. Let's see what happens when the hydrogen makes its way down here. My only regret so far with this uh, main bus design is not doing the gas and liquid pipes two tiles apart so it can be easier with the bridges. So I think all of this hydrogen is going to go up here actually. Yep. That's not cooling this area directly at all. Next time. What temperature is it? 26 degrees, that's already an improvement. Could do it this way. If I'd put the gas bridge, uh, if I was able to put the gas shut off where that bridge was, it would have been one easy way to control it. The thing is, if this is shut off, I want this to be able to flow through. Could just do it like that, but then won't it 50 50? Well, it'll 50 50 until this blocks the output from this, and then it should be fine, right? I'm, I'm just trying to remember slash figure out how I'm going to do the standard control for this. Use the gas bridge prio the other way then? Bridge to the left. I could... I suppose I could bridge to the left, yeah. And just have it go up here as well. And then we wouldn't need this bridge. And then the whole design should look cleaner. So we can just get rid of that. And that. Yeah, that, that works, I think. 
Well, the only trouble is it doesn't go through here if it goes through here. Is that really a problem? Like, I'm thinking of not just this room, but other shaped rooms in the future, but I don't think it is a problem, because normally it's just going to loop straight back to here. Yeah, that should be fine. You can see the temperature in the pipes cooling and then equalizing. It seems we've split up our gas. Oh, because it's coming back up this way. Uh, so we would need a bridge here somewhere. To keep it from doing that. That's why it's getting split up like that. Okay. Okay. That's going to be all split up and weird and stuff. I guess it's not going to make much of a difference. Probably. Research time. Let's do art. And then all that's left is introductory rocketry before we have to really get serious to progress science. Is that suggestion alright? Yeah, that's spot on. Okay. I just hope we get enough hydrogen for this rather long loop. to keep it cool before things get out of hand for the Trekos. Did the slime lung take care of itself? I doubt it. Oh, it's actually... Well, it's less, I'm pretty sure. But we're not yet seeing a uh, floral scent make an appearance over here again. Nutrient bar, construction, cuisine, athletics, probably not. Okay. This whole area is, we've, we've doubled the hydrogen in this space as well. I think we're bottlenecking, no, I know we're bottlenecking on oxygen consumption in order to make hydrogen at this point. I could always vent gas into space. Let's maybe not do that though. Um, let's put a deodorizer up here. Just make the base bigger, yep. Yeah, if we dig out stuff down the bottom, or anywhere for that matter, um, just air, gas rushing in to fill the space is going to actually consume quite a bit. Did we pick up all of that gold amalgam? Not even close. even though we've got storage room for it. All right, I think we should just run until we get idle dupes, to be honest. It's 
still has one or two running. Uh, no, I disabled all of the oxygen diffusers. I didn't deconstruct them, though, just in case we have to... In case something goes amiss without oxygen production, we can restart that very quickly. One near storage is running. Oh, this one. Yes, good point. Thank you. So that'll be more electrolysis, uh, which also means more heat, but more hydrogen so that we can delete the heat. It's really hard. It's much more difficult to get a feel for how much uh, hydrogen we have in the loop now. Oh, and this was supposed to be water. Okay. What should we do while we're waiting for that? We won't be getting plastic any quicker than just waiting for it. Um, so we won't be able to make some steam turbines. I mean, we could do some digging and preparing various things. Uh, I'd like to start trying to think about what we're going to do, at least, with this volcano. Why don't we dig like this instead? Foodman Steve, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's make sure they can get down there for the gold amalgam and stuff. Oh, and the uh, eggshells. Should also look for some other volcanoes. I really hope we can find an iron one this time. That is not obsidian. No, oh, actually... Is it mineral that shows obsidian? Yeah, here it is. It's very black, but not quite all the way. That is granite and obsidian and neutronium. That was surprisingly easy to find. Okay, so we have another something over here. It is a carbon dioxide vent? Really? I'm really struggling to try to imagine a scenario, a way that we could exploit that. But I guess we'll have a peek nonetheless. So much for your cooling loop? What do you mean? Is it free dirt? Um, I mean, it's it's carbon. If we can somehow... Let's see. Carbon dioxide. We can turn it water and CO2 into polluted water. And nothing else. That just deletes the CO2, basically. Wait, no. Yeah, no, it gives us polluted water. Which I think we can get polluted dirt out of. Dev life support. 30 tons of carbon dioxide. What? Uh... CO2, water, and dirt make oxyphen, make oxygen. That's not too exciting. 
Uh, we can turn it into crude oil with slicksters. That's not too bad. Or with a molten slickster we can make petroleum. Um, these are all the ways that we make CO2. Is there some kind of shenanigans we can do with changing the state? To get carbon out of it? Is that the coffee machine? That's what it looked like. The geyser is negative 60. Vent is 500. Uh... The geyser... Uh, we, well, we can't see it yet. Um, the geyser that we are going to be exploiting so far actually spits out 95 degree fluid. Hence, we really, really need uh, a good cooling loop before we exploit that. Click on the warning at the top left when Pryo is up. It gives the stats? I thought it only gave the type. Oh, we've selected it. 500 degrees Celsius. Well, we can certainly exploit that for heat. Hmm. I mean, we can use it for electricity if we dispose of the CO2 afterwards, which I could just vent it into space if I really wanted to. That's power, yeah, exactly. Although, isn't the thermal mass of CO2 rather small? Uh, carbon dioxide gas... Thermal conductivity is minuscule. Specific heat capacity, 0.846. Compared to hydrogen, is 2.4. Oxygen... What? Uh, oxygen gas is 1.0. I guess oxygen is like the gold standard we compare things to. Or maybe not the gold standard. Uh, what else is there compare to compare it to? Polluted oxygen is slightly higher. And CO2 was 0.84. That's not that bad, actually. What about steam? Just to get an idea. That is a huge specific heat capacity. Should be fine in a hot room, yeah. Okay. So, let's select this thing again. Uh, yep, can I see the... God damn it. Building priority, yes, I know. I just want to mark this as top priority. Click on this, put it back to normal and see... there we go. 527 grams per second. For 200 seconds. It sounds like it might not actually be that much. Let's look at the copper volcano again. 
8.4 kilograms per second. And the specific heat capacity of copper is uh, less than half. But even so, the volume that comes out of this uh, to require more than one steam turbine to delete the heat. Uh, I think I think if we were to exploit the CO2 vent for heat, one steam turbine would be idle most of the time. Probably. Copra is going to be great for you. Can replace all of your wiring with it. Indeed. Uh, we've got barbecue, wrenching, operating. Doctorating. Falls asleep periodically. I don't think so. Yeah, um... Just really rough math. Um, I think that's not going to run even one steam turbine consistently. Although it is at 500 degrees, except no, 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 no. I forgot the import. One of the Im one of the important variables. Uh, the copper volcano erupts 8.4 kilograms a second at 2,226 degrees Celsius, and uh, it has half the heat capacity, specific heat capacity of CO2. Um, so it's spitting out way more mass at more than four times the temperature, uh, with about half the specific heat capacity, and that still only runs, like, one point something steam turbines, uh, at a low steam temperature. So this one, yeah, the CO2 vent's gonna be garbage as far as I can think of. Unless there's some process where we can change the state of CO2 to get carbon or something. Copper is only 44 seconds? Okay, that's a point. As opposed to being active a third of the time. 679 over 44 is 15.43. Uh, that, yeah, that's another variable. So, I don't know now. But the, sh the difference in mass, 8.4 kilograms per second versus, like... Oh, God damn it! Click on this, priority five. Click on this, there we go. 526 grams per second, so that's like a 16th. Let's call it one eighth of the thermal mass. But it comes out at. Oh, that's without considering the temperature, which is about a quarter. I would actually have to do the math. But I don't think it's going to be that exciting. Not for a source of electricity. Oh, now we're getting somewhere with the hydrogen. That is... A, almost half of the part that fills up the base. It's not saturated, but it's at least... Um, got some gas in every tile there. I'd say we're about a tenth of the way from completely full. 
And we're still at only about high 40s. 45, 46 degrees here. It keeps flickering a lot. What about up here? Oh, how about this uh, thermo sensor? That's a good consistent way to look at it. 43 degrees. And more importantly, the mealwood is still growing. It's only at 26, 23 degrees. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, I guess the hydrogen, while it's still quite cold, goes past the mealwood. That's actually great. That's, uh, that's working quite well. I forgot the Dracos also give us Phosphorite. And the glossy Dracos will still give us Phosphorite. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I did want to redesign this potentially with... Um, what was I going to say? What's that plant called? Bristle Berry? Bristle Blossom. But... We're going to want a consistent supply of electricity and water before we do that, so never mind. This is fine to get started. And we'll probably just end up stuck with it forever. Do bristles affect what eggs are dropped? Um, possibly. Uh, I mean, glossy dracos will eat the bristle blossoms, but not regular. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't have worked yet. Regular dracos won't eat them. But this way, if we just provide the whole thing with uh, water and electricity, is all the bristle blossom needs. Same with the electrolyzer. Uh, oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide, water, electricity because light, temperature 5 to 30 degrees, so same maximum temperature as the mealwood. Except we couldn't, if we were going to use the same shape, We'd need some lights here, which means the planter boxes would have to go. We'd have to use farm tiles instead of insulated tiles down the bottom. They also need light. I hate bristles so much. I mean, I've run out of dirt before, so something that just consumes electricity and water for food is okay by me. Alright, um, it's going to take a little while to saturate this thing, but we have well and truly especially because of the, the fact we don't even really need to keep this cool, not very cool, in order to keep the mealwood cool enough because of the ordering, the shape of the coolant loop. Um, we're well and truly creeping towards the mid-game since we're able to cool things. Why are you cooling the hydrogen? Uh, two reasons. So, the hydrogen is what we pay to run the anti-entropy thermo nullifier to cool things down. So it's very convenient. Uh, it, it only costs a very small amount. Um, it's very convenient to just run the hydrogen through here to cool that, to use that as our coolant. Hydrogen is also as good as it gets as far as I know, especially for something easily accessible at this point of the game. Uh, as far as gases go, hydrogen is excellent as a heat medium. Very high specific heat capacity. Um, 
So we're able to just take our excess hydrogen that we get from this build, pump it into this loop, run it through here and cool it, and run it through the rest of the base with various bits of extra extra logic and loops where we want a specific temperature somewhere. Um, very nice and easy and fairly effective and cheap. It doesn't cost any power um, to run this coolant loop. I think you may be having an airflow issue at the bottom. How so? Hmm. There's some polluted oxygen coming in, but it's all getting cleaned. Or is it coming in? Maybe? What do you mean an airflow issue? Uh, how is there polluted oxygen in here? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, because there's not enough... Okay. Um, I need to prioritize having liquid in here, not in the reservoirs. Uh, we did this part backward. Hmm. Because this is supposed to be underwater so that it doesn't off-gas. O2's looking thin? I don't think it... Yeah. It might be a little thin. It's quite thick up here. So instead of re-enabling uh, the diffusers, what I'd like to do is just basic gas vent. Some ox. I could just do it down the main bus instead of like off to the sides. Um, we'll do a basic gas vent in a few places, like here. Up here should be the last place we need it, because it's close to the uh, uh, electrolyzers. That'll also help in getting the H in the pipe, yes. Because we are bottlenecked on um, the gas pressure here. Because there's plenty of oxygen, this thing isn't running most of the time. Which is what we want, but, you know, we want the gas to get everywhere in the base, not just up the top. So now it's going to find its way first out here, and then when that's max pressure, 1000 grams per tile out here, and so on. That should be fine. Printing time? We could get a what seed, or... another nyctophobic? I mean, it's, it'll be fine in the long run, but it's a little bit annoying now. Can't dig. Increased food morale bonus. Farming, doctoring, building. I don't think so. Doctoring, decorating, researching. I don't think so. Let's just take the wart seeds. Uh, but yeah, I also need to saturate... Actually, I think... I think what I'd really like here is... Priority... Top priority is having this much water. Second top priority is putting water into the reservoirs so that we don't have to pay the power and heat to run the pump needlessly. And third priority would be outputting from this liquid vent here. So how do we do that? Well, it would help if we hadn't already 
consumed... Well, I haven't actually consumed this water. Uh, I think I see the play. I think it's actually really, really easy. Well, actually that's going to prioritize emptying... I think all of this is going to come out the liquid pipe first, right? I mean the, uh, the liquid vent. I could go 50-50. But then, I want to be able to have coolant like this with liquid later on, if possible. And up here as well. I could just not have a bridge across here. Or... Why can I put a vent not on the ladder? That's okay. Probably. If I put a vent here, but after this reservoir... Then it's going to prioritize putting liquid in these reservoirs, but after that... It's going to put water here. I think I'm okay with that. Probably. Someone on the job? Evil Pluck. What's the mechanic of slime off-gassing? To understand it was either submersed, a liquid of one kilogram plus, or whatever it was, or gas pressure. If inner storage gas pressure doesn't apply, um, I'm not sure. But I know if it's submerged in liquid, it won't off-gas. So we're going to fill this first, then this, then these, and then this. So this, this one's not going to be top priority. Maybe it should be. Either way, we've got enough for now. Uh, once we take this water, it's going to cover these ones. And then I'll have to go ahead and get this polluted oxygen out of here somewhere. Uh, somehow. I mean, I guess I don't really need to, but I, I would prefer to. The water pressure is high enough now that it has stopped? Really? Oh, nice. I could just add a sensor whereby the liquid pump doesn't activate until a certain water pressure. So I'd like to do that anyway so it's not wasting energy. I could put it down here. Uh, let's see. Hydro sensor? Gonna have to wait till someone deconstructs that. What? Good job, Bevan. Hydro sensor here. Automation wire. And we're just going to wait until there's some amount of water detected before we activate the liquid pump. Which is probably 
gonna implicitly happen anyway, but it doesn't cost us any power uh, for this bit of safety logic. Alright, so if above... what's the current setting? 146 kilograms. We could say above 500 kilos, I guess. How is the H loop? The H loop is... getting better. This whole section up here is actually covered, although not maximum density yet. So we're at like 30% maybe. Uh, because with the logic I've got here, we wait for, I think it's one whole minute of hydrogen detected here, and then we activate that for 10 seconds. So that we don't gulp in any oxygen without having a... Uh, we, we don't have to pay the electricity for a filter, and we're not going to gulp in anything but hydrogen at that pump. Yeah, it's definitely getting there. How's the temperature? Uh, it was 43 before, right? 46, 45. Let's see how it looks after the gas goes through here. Forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, forty-one, forty-two. Yeah, it definitely dropped a few degrees. It's not going to have any trouble maintaining a decent temperature once the whole thing's saturated. In fact, you could argue it already is maintaining a decent temperature. Time until death 7.6 cycles? Oh, it's just old. Wait, no, it's 44 cycles old. Starving. The mealwood is right here. Draco. This one's elderly, dead in 10 cycles. We've got two Dreklet, three Dreklet eggs, actually. Even if they both died right now, we're gaining population. Uh, but yeah, the mealwood is growing because it gets cooled first. Um, the temperature gaining here isn't really spreading. To the rest of the base. It's looking quite good already. Alright. Next time we'll saturate this whole coolant loop. Uh, we'll probably get some plastic just by waiting for the Dracos to do their thing. And we'll start looking at taming some volcanoes, I think. Maybe they can't eat the elevated mealwood in the planter boxes. No, they definitely can. I saw them eating it. Uh, oh, we got a glossy Dreklet egg. It's kind of at the door. Um, also, this mealwood here has been eaten. So, I'm not sure. Forgot to mention my vacuum high pressure chlorine. Vacuum greater than high pressure chlorine. You mean for killing germs? It won't be so good for heat though. The machine will eventually overheat. Unless it's touching water. Can it even work if it's touching water? Well, regardless. Uh, next time we'll be well and truly in the mid-game. And starting to work on some more interesting projects. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with space exploration. Uh, Monday is going to be... 
well, no, Monday is space exploration. Uh, Tuesday's Terraria, and a couple of days after that, we're going to do some more XCOM. But for now, let's see who is streaming Oxygen Not Included. Only one day of Oni? Yeah, I'm enjoying it, but I think if I kept up two days, I would possibly get burnt out on it. And I really don't want to get burnt out on a game that I am enjoying. Alright, let's see... It's probably going to be Discount Engineer again. Second playthrough? Day 4, how do rockets work in the DLC? Lava planet landing? Okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, let me just check that we can raid and chat and stuff. Seems good. Thanks for the Oni stream, Yogi. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Take care. My lava planet landing was a tragedy? Uh-oh. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the discords of the blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And... Uh, till next time. Take care. As I dig down, the dupes can't...